What up, everybody? As I pull up and whatnot. What the hell just happened with that? I'm gonna throw that down one time for the one time. What's going on? Waiting on everybody to pull up for tonight's show. It's gonna be uh, the show before the show. Keep your distance takeover. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me get this description so I can put it in. Put it in the actual description. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's popping, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to find out who the fuck is disliking this video, and I'm going to block the fuck out of them. It don't make no sense to me. Why come to the page just to just to dislike the video every day. You probably ain't even subscribed. So that means you gotta set your timer on your phone or something just to come here and do that. You a miserable person. I hope you find some some peace in your life because that's just miserable as hell, fam. No reason. We 701, the two people disliked it. One person undisliked it, but why Why y'all do shit? Why? God damn, y'all need some puzzles or something. There are three people. Let me find out. There's got to be a way to find this shit out. <clears throat> I know, Jessica, I, knew they, I know they do it to irritate me, but I know it's got to be a way, because I just found out there was a way to really block people like from the channel like forever, because the mods can block them for the day, but they can still come back. But as the owner of the channel, I can, I can get the, the list of people that they've blocked and I can block them forever. So I know if there's a way to do that, then there's a way to block them from, from the dislikes. Cause why come if you just come just to do that? So I'm gonna find out, I'm gonna email them and figure it out. But anyway, uh, what's up everybody? Uh, Poison Ivy, what's going on? Shante, Cam, Brittany W, uh, Valencia, Nation Boys, what's popping up? Azale, Jamari, Angelica, what's going on? Astoria. Uh, now quib, uh, what's up, everybody? We got a lot of people on the show tonight, so I tried to stagger it so we don't have like 30,000 people <clears throat> talking at one time. And it looks like by staggering it, everybody thought that they didn't have to be here on time. Heidi, Heidi's the only one that hit me up and told me that she was gonna be in traffic, she was gonna be running 15 minutes late, so she's the only one that got grace. Everybody else, I'm professional, you know what I'm saying. But uh, we're going to keep this thing going, man. Uh, we're going to have a good time. And if nobody comes in a couple of minutes, then I'm just going to call some other people on here, man. We're just going to do it like that. Somebody said Tommy Davidson is just like in the video. <laughs> Let me find out. Is Tommy Davidson really unlike? That he's, he's logging on. I'm like, did you miss me? Dislike hit ass. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga. That... Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, that made my. <laughs> Yo. I don't know who said that shit, but that is funny as hell, man. God damn. Tommy Davidson, <laughs> just like in the video. Oh, yo, bro, that shit is so fucking funny to me, man. Shout out to everybody. Uh, what was that? Bacon, egg, and cheese. Hippie goes, Greg. Uh, Cat James. Ian Derrick, Tanisha Tyler, uh, Mr. Pleasant was popping off. Um, some people are already asking uh, about the show tomorrow with CP, Todd Davis, and Chinadu. I put the link in my Discord, in my Patreon, and also in uh, Scary Squad Discord. Um, this is one of those shows you got to register for. Uh, if, the, if the general public wants to do it, y'all put some stuff in here and I'll, I'll figure out a way to 
make it possible for y'all to get to, but they were trying to make sure that uh, all the people who are actually a part of the organization got it first, and then also all the people that support me uh, through various ways get it. And then um, I might put it in my stories on Instagram, but you got to register first. It's a free show, completely free show. Um, but then if you register, you can watch the show. Also, it will not be on YouTube. I saw some people asking that in uh, Patreon. It would not be on YouTube because we're doing it via Zoom. We're not broadcasting or streaming it anywhere. It's literally only going to be on Zoom. So there will not be a rewatch link or anything like that. So it won't be on there. So um, yeah, look out for that. Thank you, Melinda. Uh, I'm glad you like it. Second episode is going to be even better. And uh, I actually got to put up the, the next episode of uh, Unexpected. I mean, Life Lessons from the Unexpected. So that was going to be coming, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> and then I got to do the next episode of uh, Death and Scandal. I guess I'll put that one up on Sunday for the Patreon because that was just for Patreon. If you want to see Death and Scandal, you got to sign up for uh, Damn It and That You Scary. Um, Serena, I'm gonna post the link in my stories on Instagram. Um, I might put it in here. We'll see. I'll put it in here. Um, but if you guys want to, you want to go to the show, you need to sign up tonight. Register is really easy to do. It's just literally just clicking one thing and, and asking a couple questions, and it's completely free. And uh, yeah, the sooner the better because I think this, I think it caps out at like. Uh, 400 people or something like that. Right now, it's like 273 signed up. So I will put it in here in a minute. Shout out to the more mods, man. They do an amazing job, man. Jennifer Reva, Stephen O'Connor, Hippie Goes. And uh, make sure they got all the information that I need for all my guests. Tonight, I don't have real guests. No, you know what I'm saying? Let me, you know what? Let me hit up some of our real friends that like, that care about being on time. Heidi's the only one to get a pass from me. Everybody else, I'm trying to be cool, but y'all know how I hate like tardiness. Like that shit, that shit burns me up on the inside. And nobody hit me up except for Heidi. Nobody was like, I'm gonna be late. And everybody got the link. Let me make sure everybody got the link. What if it's my fault? What if I'm the reason that nobody came? <laughs> I will okay, no, I sent it to everybody. Uh yeah, that's what I'm saying, buddy. Yo, I would have been so embarrassed. So embarrassed if that was the case. Um, the sis ain't nobody here. Let me let me let me tap into who I can get to pull up real quick. Let me see if BT is available. I don't know what he at. Niggas just niggas just don't like being on time, bro. That, that's really what it is. Let me see if BT can come on real quick. BT, can you hop on uh, Zoom with the homies real quick? Nobody's here for the show. Nobody. Literally nobody. Oh, okay. Lance coming in late and shit. Here comes Lance and shit. Yeah, come on in here, BT. Yeah, Lance, Lance, get, Lance get an excuse. He did come into town. He get an excuse. Everybody else don't get shit, though. What up? <laughs> Give me two seconds. All right, cool. Um, it's just me and you? It's just me and you, man. Come Hi, on, man. Heidi hit me up and said she was going to be late, but everybody else, you know how niggas get Hollywood and they don't want to do promo type shit, you know what hey, I'm saying? So look, this is the crazy thing. I just got off the flight. I already know. And I was I was going to do it from my phone, but I knew it was going to be dark. Yeah. Gonna be, and I thought it was going to be a bunch of people on it. I didn't want to be the nigga with no, uh, with no nothing. It's just dark and I'm talking it. <laughs> like, yo, I'm going to get uh, set up. What up? What's poppin', man? Hey, man, you feel me? Fresh off the plane, you feel me? Right, right, right. I'm going to tell, tell the story, but I'm going to tell it when everybody's on because somebody might be able to help. Oh, shit. That sounds like a serious. Oh, it's no, it's definitely serious. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. It, it, ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't life or death serious. It's, it's, oh, shit. All right, man. Shit. Yeah, I'm able to make light of it. Oh. <laughs> but, but no, hey, it's serious for a black man. Let me tell you this. <laughs> All right, let me, send, uh, let me send BT the link real quick. Boom. Uh, cool. uh, uh, uh. Yo. Yeah. You connect. You collect shoes, right? I do. I do. That's what, see, that now we, we might be on to something. Oh, yeah? You, you, you got to connect or something? Oh, yeah, I, I got shoe connects, but that's not what we're talking about. Okay, 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 okay. 
All right, BT, BT is set, so come on in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Sunshine Mill says she's excited to see Lance set tomorrow. Hey, let me tell y'all something. Lance is funny as shit, bro. This motherfucker is funny. He's a great writer. He's a great friend. Hey, Lance is funny as shit, bro. Y'all gonna have a good thank, time. On the thank ball. you to hear more. And thank you, Sun. Is it Sunshine? You said Sunshine? Uh, shit. Sunshine Mail. That's who it thank was. Thank you, Sunshine Mail. Hey, I'm excited about, hey, tomorrow? Tomorrow. T tomorrow, dog. Tomorrow, tomorrow gonna be crazy. Okay. All right. All right. Tomorrow, tomorrow gonna be crazy. Where's Ty at? Is Ty in here? Uh, I didn't see it. Is Ty Davis in here? Ty Davis here too? David Lucas said he wasn't coming. I don't know why the nigga didn't say that in the chat. What What time is dinner? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably, I get it. We're cutting into Oh, shit. All right, here go BT Kingsley. <laughs> 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 I understand. Oh, snap. Okay. Here we go right here. Yep. What's popping? What, Dominique? You know what? If Dominique and him, I'll call her in here because I ain't had her in here in a while. Tinder Lovers, you in here? Is no. she in here? Uh, I know the NBA only streaming to like uh, 500 people at a time. <laughs> but put some ESPN and NBA only stream. I, I saw the numbers. Put some respect on Zoom hey, with the let me, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all how petty BT is. BT be sending me screenshots of other people doing shows like this <laughs> who don't have the number. Every time. And he'll send it to me. He'd be like, these niggas need to put some respect on your name, bro. <laughs> I be seeing them. Jay-Z like, went, say Jay -Z went live the other day. It was eight people in the room. <laughs> Say, so, oh, relax, bro. It was eight. It was Tata, <laughs> LeBron. <laughs> Beyonce was in the back of LeBron video. I said, that's just weird. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> oh, I was just talking to Dominique earlier, too. Let me see if she's available. I'm going to hit her up, too. I ain't going to start no mess, but I know we don't really do politics. But have you been watching? Bro. Now, this is a, the season finale of America, bro. This is amazing. <laughs> I, I told Lance, he don't believe me, dog. They was doing uh, registrations um, for, sign up for voter registrations at Magic City. I was like, dog, you get the, the lemon pepper, and she popped, and she be like, you want to? Hey, the, look, why you bullshit, though? The baby, had <laughs> the baby had a whole tour bus. He was taking people to the polls because a lot of people didn't have transportation. Wait, P O L L S or P O L E S? <laughs> <laughs> Both. <laughs> you see Trump saying that they cheat me in the polls. I was like, that's the that's that's my idea, bro. That's you got the wrong poll, fam. Hey man, they might be cheating them in them polls too. <laughs> hey, strippers, strippers always want to short change you on the lap dance once they feel like they got the money. <laughs> you gonna work? I want I want a whole three dollars worth of twerking. We ain't even got to that to the good part of the song yet. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man, this it, this has been crazy. Now they say I, I say I'm giving all I'm giving all the credit to every real dude I know in Atlanta. As far as I'm concerned, if it wasn't for 85 South and more than the culture, this you know what I mean? It wouldn't yeah. be nobody be voting in Atlanta. It's all them. What uh, BT? What what mic you using tonight? Uh, is, is it trash? That motherfucker coming in like spice. Spice Adams. No, no, nah, you know, but this, this is <laughs> so I'm at BT Crib. Yeah. I'm in the living room here in the bedroom, and it might be because it's too close. Nah, because yours don't sound like that. BT I, sound I, like this. That motherfucker coming through in all capitals. <laughs> I'm hella excited, my nigga. <laughs> Killing the NBA. No, I and think and this nigga gave me the good light. I got the good ring light. He got yeah. a lamp and just took the shade off that bitch. You know what's crazy? Look, you want to see the shade? Look at the shade on this light. Oh, shit. A piece of it just fell off. Listen, <laughs> your light, uh, Lance, look, look, look at the little pieces that I've ever seen in BT's house. BT owns that light that you're using, <laughs> and his lighting never looks that good on his computer. And I don't know what the fuck is going on. I like it like this. 
<laughs> Can you at least wipe your camera, BT? It's clean. No, it's not. It's got 10 degrees on it. Hold on. He said, he said your camera. I was, using this, I was using it and eating that popcorn world. That's the problem. He said your, he said your camera got do flies on it. Wipe it with a, with a cloth or something, BT. This is a, a handkerchief thing. It's a pocket square. There it is. There she go. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi. <laughs> What's up, Heidi? Heidi, we laughing like that. What? How, when you start laughing like that, Heidi, like, laughing like that. That's her laugh. <laughs> 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 laughing like normal. I've never heard your laugh before. What? BC, how is that even possible? How is BC. that even possible? That's always been Heidi's laugh. You must have thought there was a man in the back of the club or somebody. Yeah, I, was back there. I was like, I thought Louis Dix was on here. I was like, where is this? <laughs> no, it was me the whole time at the back of the club. I was like, wait a minute. You see how I looked at like, who had, how did House laugh like that? Always. Wow. I never heard that before. You really must have thought I was somebody else because that laugh has been there. That what, what's, that, what's that purple light behind you, Heidi? Um, I got I, I on the fans. It's like That's a little. Just, no, no, no. You had P Valley. Huh? <laughs> you had P Valley. What? P Valley. P Valley. You yeah. ever seen P Valley? What's P Valley? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> P Valley, the show about the strippers on Stars. I don't know what that is, sir. Oh, you got to watch P Valley. It's lit. Oh, really? It's it, yeah. It's Power of Jace. I would know. Oh, that's nice. I would never be good, and I wouldn't know anything about stripping. I don't have good enough uh, anything for that profession. I wish I did. <laughs> 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 Your lab before, guys. Listen, I have a question. I got a real question, and this is for somebody that's actually watching. He's in the chat right now. Jason Pollock, <laughs> you have a picture of me as your profile for your YouTube, and I, I just need to know why. I need I need to know if you, you're just a fan or you're mocking me or what, so I can respond accordingly because I see it every day and it always makes me double take, and people think that's me and it's not, then they see the name. I just need to know. What the hell is going on? Because you come in every night, Jason. Okay, you're very supportive, and sometimes you, sometimes you're supportive. Sometimes you be talking shit. This is the type mm -hmm. of person he, he does. He say some slick shit, then he be like respectfully. So he'll be like, "I don't like Lance's hair. That shit look like he he about to ask me for fair change." Respectfully, respectfully, <laughs> don't mean <laughs> excuse the bullshit I just said. <laughs> it just it just means I'm saying this. Because I know I just said some bullshit. That's what that was. Mm -hmm. So I need to know where you stand, Jason. I mean, Jackson. I'm sorry, Jackson. What, what, what did he say? You just said huge fan. Uh, okay. I know he be trolling. He be like, yo, he be trolling. I know he be trolling. I be saying a little slick shit. And they say he gets blocked all the time. You should keep calling him Jason. <laughs> that's my way of trolling. That's, how, that's the, uh, what, um, What's uh what's the dude's name? Uh Chris? The dude that got into it with Jamie Foxx. Uh, uh I know he came out. They got the roasted by Jamie. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, Doug. Come on, Doug, Doug Williams. Williams. Oh, to my Kevon? Yeah, Kevon? Dave, Dave, Dave uh Willis. Doug. <laughs> oh, Dave Willis, that's his name. That's a family friend of a friend. He 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 was roasted Kev. I felt a way about it. Who was Kev? <laughs> He, oh, he kept calling him Kevon. I was like, nah, you know what you're doing, bro. I, was like, <laughs> I see what you're doing. Donald. Kevon stage. <laughs> nah, Kev took it to light. It was all, it was all love. <laughs> Jason, are you a fan or no? <laughs> Let it be known, Jason. Where you at with it, man? Jacob. <laughs> Jamie, where you, where you stand with it, Jamie? General Chicken. Are y'all looking at the comments? Yes. I want I keep getting this T-Rex thing and I just feel like what T-Rex thing? I, they keep saying I look like T-Rex the battle rapper. I've been getting this <laughs> <laughs> This has been going on for a while now and I just feel like 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my friend said she don't know how to get on. She just goes to your YouTube. Just go to yep. YouTube. Yep, to hear yeah, more. Go YouTube. to my YouTube page and it pop up. It's live, so. I know that's what I'm trying to tell her. She's not real good always with the technology stuff. It's not even, it ain't technology like that. Just go to YouTube. You know, first of all, some of us aren't good with technology. I'm one. No, no, no. But this ain't technology, though. This You don't have to download nothing or nothing. You don't need to find it. That's confusing. YouTube? Yeah. You eating peeps? Huh? You eating peeps? No, no. (laughs) Howdy. YouTube.com. I, that's what I'm telling her. And then on any device or even on the television, and the, she don't even have to sign in. And then to hear that's more. What I, that's what I'm it. telling her. Yep. So how did she, she on the calculator. She can't figure it out from there. <laughs> yeah. Room. She got the, the Texas instruments. <laughs> to be honest, I've tried to watch a lot of things on the TI calculator, and it never works out well. <laughs> $100 said it's Tony Baker eating cereal right now. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all how Tony Baker a real one. Tony Baker was one of the people who I actually staggered because I know Tony don't like talking. So I had Tony scheduled to come on at 8 o'clock. So he only had to do an hour of dealing with us. To be honest, I <laughs> Tony came on early because everybody else played, Tony. You see this? Oh, Tony, nobody's here except for Heidi. Oh, and wow. Lance. And I'm late. And I'm late. I was supposed to be on right at seven. And I'm Heidi late. gave me a heads up that she was going to be late. She said she was stuck in traffic. Lance just got off a plane. Nobody else. I made this whole group chat and nobody else hit me up, bro. You know, white people always late. <laughs> Caucasian people time. <laughs> Heidi's clearly mixed because this laugh, I don't believe I've never heard your laugh before. Dude, I've never heard her why, laugh. Why are you acting? Why are you acting brand new about my laugh? We've been at Crack 'em Up Thursdays like so many times together. We've been I in thought it was Levi. Union. We've been at the comedy union. You just thought I was a man or an I uncle. thought it was Levi. <laughs> I thought it was Levi laughing like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Heidi's laugh is robust Campbell soup, man. <laughs> I don't even smoke cigarettes, and I I don't smoke, and I sound like this. Oh, uh, that's funny. So hearty, man. She laughs like a Viking. I right, listen, listen. Before we go any further, that's hilarious. Like a Viking. Before we go any further, everybody just change your name to your uh your cash out. Everybody, y'all know what y'all know the deal. Um, shout out to my homegirl Dom. She just started her uh. A candle lime. She sent me the link. I'm gonna go grab a couple of them right now. Y'all, um, go ahead and bless my people real quick. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing right now because I'm, I'm low key kind of pissed off, uh, and I'm trying to let it go. But y'all know how I feel about like timeliness and communication. Like it's very easy to say I'm not gonna come. I'm running late. So I'm gonna send off. Some Are you mad at me? Because you just you, you you just invited me, so that shade better not be at me. Obviously, it's not for you, Dominic. I'm talking about the people that were already <laughs> scheduled. She always uh, looking for a tree that's sh- a, a tree that's shady to run up under. Hey, I ain't even know you, you come for me. <laughs> Yo, she scared the hell out of me when she popped up. I was like, oh shit, you in here? <laughs> <laughs> it was like she was on my couch and I came in the living room. <laughs> what? Yo, Tony, what kind of cereal are you uh, embarking on? Actually, I'm eating uh, brown rice and tofu. Yum. Okay. I knew that. Actually, could. Oh, look at you! Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been, I've been, uh, I've been vegan all week, so I've eaten brown rice and pinto beans almost every day. Did you just say <laughs> I've eaten? <laughs> yeah, that's how we talk in public school. Okay, I, I hear you. I went to public school. I've never What's used public school. <laughs> I dropped out of public school, so I'm talking about where on the, yeah. the streets, public school. God, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> public public school, the hard knocks. Yeah, the curriculum. I don't like what's going on in my background. I just I don't like how your light won't stay steady because you keep moving. What you talking oh, about? You <laughs> Tony, Tony, you've been on here with BT before. Uh-huh. Lance is currently at BT's house. BT has never looked as good. And that lighting that Lance does right now, and I don't understand it. <laughs> How does Lance, a guest in your house, have the best lighting in your house? You've never used this lighting before. Are we sure that that's the best lighting? That's called a good friend. Yes. Yes, BT, we are. We are. Because I've been, I've been on every show with you, and I've seen all your lighting, 
and <laughs> never looked that good. <laughs> Never, never looked that good not once. Yeah. <laughs> it's fair, fair point. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, know what's I, funny? I, if I could probably fix it, I'm having more fun this way. <laughs> hey, everybody, I just want to huge light right next to me. It's hot. And listen, I want to I want to tell everybody while y'all listening, everybody on the on the uh, on the show, and everybody is watching right now. Dominique has a new show called uh, Whiskey. Uh, what's it called? Whiskey. Whiskey sour elevation. Whiskey sour. Yeah, whiskey and, uh, sour. Whiskey sour. Sour because by, by that time we start, we should kind of be lit already. Got gotcha. you. Whiskey sour. And she, she's invited like 16 people on. She hasn't invited your boy on. I just want to let y'all know. She a fucked up friend for that. I knew you was going to do this. Because wow. you're going to climb up on Bob with your bullshit. Get wow. out of here. Hey, so she, we are. Uh, we, we on whiskey sour right now, too. Yeah, y'all on whiskey sour right now too. Wow. Don't, don't try to don't wow, try to don't try to dual stream. Don't try to dual stream. You just want to fuck with a real one, dog. That's what's up. That's like that's like that's like three way calling people when you be like, Man. so I heard you yeah. said about so and so, and you don't know they on the other line. Like who Wally. is in whiskey sour? Are you talking shit about is someone in- that is in whiskey sour? <laughs> She gonna, she gonna get somebody to manipulate the screens and then she gonna put her own little banner on. She gonna act like this is a whole episode of Whiskey. She might chop this bitch up and make it two or three episodes. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Right. I just might. Yo, here, the first I episode, your hat on forward. Second episode, your hat on back. Where do I send my guest release? Where do I send my guest release for Whiskey Sour? I have my attorney email it over, okay, boo? I okay, perfect. You. Cause I want another episode. <laughs> hey Lance, I'm gonna fuck it up for her. She ain't gonna never be gonna get me. So I'm gonna just keep <laughs> I'm finna Ray J the shit out of this episode. She ain't gonna, <laughs> she ain't gonna be able to use none of this shit. I teach you, motherfucker. Is <laughs> Heike one of the funniest people alive, bro? Who Ray J? These glasses, it didn't break when I tell y'all oh. video 40 times, bro. <laughs> don't break Listen, them. dude tried to warn the dude said. All right, I'm I'm a breaker. He was like, you can't break them. They're unbreakable. He's like, Ray J, stop. What? Stop what? They're unbreakable. You can't, dude. You can't break the glasses. Like, all right. First of all, I would Ray J just sat there like it was a bad pair. Oh, I, I, I went care. to a Clipper game like maybe three or four years ago. And it was before he launched his uh, and don't ask why I was at a Clipper game. That's a longer story. But uh, he, uh, don't do that. They was winning a couple years ago. Well, no, 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 no. It was not because of that. But anyways, we in the halftime the show, the halftime show was Ray J riding around the scooters before he launched them. And I was like, on the scooter bike. Yeah. And that was, but like when I'm telling you, that was the entire Clipper halftime show was Ray J on the scooter bikes. I was like, wow, this is really taking a turn since <laughs> a lot of things. This is. <laughs> and he wasn't doing any tricks. Like he was just like, look at the scooters. I was like, we we get it. Are the cheerleaders coming out? Like, why? In full, in full, in full view, though, Ray J was way ahead on the scooty bikes. Well, he made money off of them. But, yeah. but if you like if you anywhere in LA right now, if you're in Hollywood, them little scooters and little electric bikes is everywhere. His issue was he was trying to sell them as opposed to just put them on the streets. Because those, I love, man, if, if I'm in Hollywood and I'm trying to park somewhere, I'm going to look for about a minute and a half of parking. And then I'm going to start looking for scooters. <laughs> I'll park, park at the comedy store and ride a scooter to the Laugh Factory. I, I'm done. I'm good, bro. That's I love, actually really I love smart. It. That's actually really smart, though. So All right. he, in, he had the big scooters, too. Yeah. He was doing like a, a scooter bike as opposed to the smaller wheels that were for the streets, like you're saying, BT. Like, he was he was doing motorized scooters at the Clipper game. Yeah, I can't do that no more though. Uh, shout out to Tony Baker being the real one because he checked me today on my on my steps. He was like, "Yo, bro, <laughs> hey man, because <laughs> I started strong. First week, seventy four. <laughs> Second week, fifty two. This week, eight. It's like, man, I am been full fumble, bro. This week, it was like it was just a lot of stuff happening. He was like, I said, no excuses, bro. I'm, I'm a I'm going to walk nine miles on, on Saturday. Listen, this is the type of friend Tony Baker is if you're really your friend. He's going to call and check on you. Yeah. Tony Baker texts Farron today. It was like, hey, how's he here been eating? And she hit him back like, what? 
why? He was like, I'm just trying to make sure he's on the right path. And she brought the phone to me. He's like, what is this about? And I was like, Tony, just trying to make sure I'm eating good. <laughs> I felt like a dad checking in on me. I was like, bro, come on, man. Stall me out, champ. And she told me you wasn't. What? <laughs> what? She, what? She lying. There was a lying, big- Tony, but Tony Baker, I ain't even eating nothing but like salads and brown rice. You, well, you ate other stuff in front of me, man. Why are you lying? What, what did I eat in front of you? You had a fried chicken sandwich one day in my <laughs> face. <laughs> he be lying so much, he be forgetting I was right there. Here, you freeze. <laughs> Don't act like you froze. Don't act like your internet is tripping. <laughs> First of all, I didn't order that fried chicken sandwich. That's what the place had. You ate it. No, 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 no. Which one? Wait, what, which one was this? Which one? Was this the day I had came up there uh, just to drop something off, or this was the day I actually ordered some food? No, it was the day you was eating it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what day it was. That's not true, man. <laughs> was it good to hear? Uh, it depends on which one he's talking about. If it was the one from the food truck, it was trash. I threw it away. I took one bite. I didn't finish the bite. I threw it away. If it was the one from Miss Mash Burger, that motherfucker was magnificent. And I had one today. It was it was magnificent. You understand what I'm saying? It, it was it was enough to write home about. I told my mom about it in a text. I was like, hey, when you come out here, remind me to take you to Mix Match Burger. The shit's gonna change your life. Mix match burger? Mix match burger. Where is they got it? A, they got a they got a falafel burger too, Lance. Oh what? I know it's a falafel burger. It's like a falafel patty. It's What's really good. Falafel? I don't know what that is. How how you a how you a, what kind of vegan hey, are you? He knew, he knew dude. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm I'm not. I'm not even trying to be vegan. I just haven't eaten no meat or dairy. You just, know what a falafel like, is. <laughs> Ain't that dinosaur? Okay. No. Oh. All right. No. Oh. We're not going to do that. You know what a falafel is. Falafel raptor. <laughs> I went to pu- no, 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 no. no, 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 no. I went to public school too. Oh. I dropped out too. You're not going to play that with me. I know what a falafel is. I'm just as uneducated as you. You know what no, a falafel no, no. Time is. Time out, time out, time out. I, I am a Harvard graduate. You just said oh. you dropped out of high school. Don't flip up your story like that. I dropped out of high school and I graduated from Harvard. This is in the fact. Okay. Oh, Lance, yeah, same. Uh, enrolled in one class at Harvard. He didn't finish. He enrolled in it, and then he called himself a Harvard graduate. Bro, it was four classes. <laughs> if I was at home, I would show y'all the degree. I'm a Harvard graduate. I mean, I listen. <laughs> I took the time out of my um, pristine evening. Yes. Um, to <laughs> talk to the uneducated. Right. And I would appreciate it if I was respected. Where's my pipe at? <laughs> for everybody that wants to, for everybody that wants to check it out the link for the the comedy show tomorrow is is pinned to the chat it's gonna be me uh uh ty davis chenna do yanaka and cp this is a private event it won't be streamed on youtube you can only get to, get to it by by signing up you get your own individual um Zoom link, and then once it's over, it's over. It's going to be at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You have to sign up. Uh, if you don't sign up, you won't get to see it because we are not replaying it. Anything like that's what, y'all really doing? what y'all doing tomorrow? You say what? What y'all doing? This is a show I tried to get you on. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> that's a really good show, especially if it goes away. You better get y'all better get in there for that. And it's free. They ain't got to pay no for it. It's what? Free. It's free? Mm-hmm. Wow. If y'all don't go to that. It's a great commercial right here. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. You don't have to come. Okay. <laughs> we, have, we, have, we have enough people as it is. Uh, my my pay is not going to go up any. No one else's pay is going to go up any. You don't have to come. It's just throwing it out there. If you want to come, if you want something to do before, keep your distance. Now, keep your distance. You have to come to you pull up like bridges there. there. Ain't no, ain't no excuses about that. You come to my friend's shit, okay? My shit, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Everybody already got paid. Well, I'm just saying that's a good show. That's it is I'm gonna be a good show. It's gonna be a good ass show. But yeah, y'all can sign up. The link is in there. Um, 
Mia, you sign up um, and the, on the comment that's pinned to the top of the chat. Just go ahead and grab that real quick and, and then slide in that junk right there. Tina do posted something the other day and it made me realize we're close closer than I realize we are. And I don't even really know him like well, well. I was like, this is- What's Tina do? You talking about Yonaka or you talking about the one in Texas? Oh, you're right. I'm, I'm talking about the one in Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah, Tina do Yonaka, I don't mess with him at all. He ain't, he's trash. <laughs> No, man, just... fuck shit to do your knocker, man. Oh, African motherfucker. <laughs> no, he's all he a Lakers fan. We'll always be cool. But no, the shit to do it. Houston, he posted something. I, I don't, it was either, it was Power Rangers. He posted something about the Power Rangers and like how evil the Green Ranger was. I was like, man. Yes. At first, he was just <laughs> causing havoc. The Green Ranger was just running around causing havoc. He was wreaking havoc. Yeah, he's getting in. He was he was yeah. messing up their droids and pulling shit out, and then fighting them. And when I had to make it, he was he was an asshole at first. Because was an asshole. Black Ranger. We forget about when he came through and he was a problem. He was a pro- and listen. He was serving their ass up. Five against one, they couldn't do shit with Tommy. <laughs> they couldn't do shit when he when he switched to the good side. That was the best thing that ever happened to the Power Rangers. But I knew. They're gonna have to switch it up because he was exposing himself to the elements. He couldn't get in the green Zord. He was yeah. just standing on the shoulder. He was on the shoulder of the Zord, exposed to all danger. I say like, they got to do something about this nigga. And it was KD. He went with. He went signed up with the Warriors. I was like, this is gonna be a problem, bro. And and nobody questioned how this motherfucker was playing the flute with a helmet on. Nobody ever asked this question. No. Beep, 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 beep. You got a helmet on. You ain't got no lips exposed. How are you doing this? Now, the helmet got lips on it, but they don't move. They don't move, and it was no mouthpiece in it. It was no mouthpiece in it. Uh, Heidi, the Power Rangers was a, a, a show that we watched after school. I know what Power uh, Rangers was. Oh, okay, okay, cool. I just felt like everyone had an opinion, and then people was asking me if my cash app was wrong, and they was right, so I had to fix that shit. <laughs> Tony Baker, I told you, Tony, you were what? You were what? Forty six when the Power Rangers came out. Yeah, uh, oh, you you like that? Hattie? That was real fun, man. Oh, I thought I thought I overheard my name. I thought he asked me if I was forty six because of my deep ass laugh. I no, I was talking about Tony. Oh no, no, I mean, to- I mean, Tony's younger than me, right, Tony? <laughs> that bless your heart, Heidi. Bless your little heart. Tony, Tony is the old. Tony is the only one on this on this this video yeah, right now Tony, that has a medical alert bracelet. Yeah, yeah, but Tony eat better than everybody else. I, I I'm okay. young, but oh, guys, I've aged eighty seven years in the last twenty six mm-hmm. minutes because I'm white. So <laughs> I age very quickly. And Tony, I've been trying to eat vegan. I made couscous and mushrooms the other day, and mm-hmm. I'm proud of it. Was it good? Yeah, it's really good. I'm actually getting better at cooking, not just this year. I started cooking last year, and I've been cooking with more vegetables, and I recommend it. What? Yeah. Go ahead on, child. I feel like you're mocking me, and it's actually something nope. I'm proud of. I'm, I'm, <laughs> she put her heart into that response. Nope. She didn't even try to say nothing more about it. She was like, I feel like you're mocking me, and I was actually really proud yeah, of it. I, I actually am proud she of just, like, no one ever taught me to cook. No one ever taught me about food or anything like that. It's not like I have to go into my whole history of growing up, but like I started to learn to cook in the last couple of years and I've educated myself on food. And I think it's really cool that Tony knows a lot. I'm uneducated on it. So you can make fun of me all you um, want. But I'm I am of genuinely proud and happy for you. Why yeah. you sound so sarcastic then? It sounds so that's, how I, it sounds that's, how, I, that's how I show love, Heidi. Now I'm gonna okay. tell you something about I don't I don't talk about food on Zoom with the homies no more because every time I did I got ridiculed for talking about food. Well, do you not? Uh, well, what what is your issue with food? Are you not eating healthy? What's going on? And so I, I eat extremely healthy, and it was bothering my heavy friends. What, how do you eat? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> don't finish that, okay? Because I feel like I'm part of the heavy friend group. <laughs> and I'm gonna feel disrespected if you include me in that. Okay, <laughs> me and BT will feel disrespected. Oh. Wait, <laughs> listen, I listen. I grew a beard, so nobody even knows about the chins anymore. This is great. This is great. <laughs> I'm killing the auditions right now. This is oh, this is amazing. 
I, I just know between the T-Rex thing, I always get compared to like, like so much fatter than me. And I'm just like, I just feel like, like I'm I'm fat, but I'm not like, you know what I mean? Like is, is that is that the worst do you know the worst person you've ever been called? Everybody know that about like I get a bunch of bullshit. I used to get the dude, uh the dude that nobody likes from Drew Hill. I used to get uh, <laughs> You know the dude that nobody likes with the with the yes. glass. Yes, him. I used to get uh I, the T Rex thing is brand new. When I had the flat top, it was a, a Frank. It was <laughs> <laughs> that was not Robin Harris. Uh, wait a minute. Nobody ever said Robin Harris. <laughs> oh, this that, is me. <laughs> Tony used to be big too. While he in the comments talking about to here want to be heavy. He don't want to make the changes. Tony, you don't remember when I had a personal trainer and I lost all that weight? No. We were on tour. <laughs> the bet that me, Kevin, Doughboy had. Who won the bet, Tony? Y'all all gave up. Who gave up? I didn't throw in a goddamn towel. Don't, don't do that. You know I was winning. You yeah. know what, Tony? You don't never give nobody their props. You he didn't throw in the towel. He he threw threw in the food. oven me. Y'all didn't what? complete. Y'all didn't complete the challenge. Tony, who gave up? Who who called no, quits? No boy. Okay, I was ready to go. Did you I was ready. Who would I would get? Kev quit too. Who I'm gonna keep going with? Yourself. <laughs> That's a simple solution. You should have kept going. You should have kept going, man. I, I, I kept that. going I until the world it. ended. I couldn't go to a, a trainer. That 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 doesn't exist. He didn't don't, have a place. Don't blame it. it on the world, ending, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 me out I don't have I don't have the discipline to work out by myself. That's why Same I pay the trainer. Same to here. If I don't have a trainer, I look yeah. I get big. Y'all do y'all realize that diet is 80% of it. Now, yeah, I'm, I'm, like not food. I'm not I just told you I'm not good at my diet. So if I don't have someone helping me, I just get big. I always need somebody. Because I do, Tony. Dang, <laughs> just because you can do it on your own, don't mean I can. New challenge. Let's start it right now. What? I'm so sick of Tony. Tony act like like we on the same diet here. Tony, you you a vegetarian, damn near vegan. You only have 16 things to eat. You are limited to 16 ingredients. There's I'm not, I don't of, have any limitations on my diet. I just have to be strong when I walk past. There is a lot of ways to get fat. I know a lot of fat vegans. Mm, it's a bunch of them. And I've been like, yo, you might as well go fuck with some beef because these vegetables and potatoes fucking you up. The french fry vegan. French fries. Honestly, honestly, it was easier for me to lose weight when I ate meat because I could just eat ground turkey and spinach. Mm. Now I have to throw a carb in there. Yeah. So don't give me that excuse. So And, and then you learn the difference. It's a big difference between vegan and plant-based. That's I like know that. I didn't know that. Say. Okay. I knew that. I knew that because plant based, you could still like do dairy, right? No. Yeah, I, that's what I said. You you can't do dairy. No, when when people are hardcore vegan, and then like plant based too, because uh, like you could be vegan and be eating like just red vines and Oreos, right? But like plant based is like no, I only eat plants. If it's not mm. a plant, I don't eat it. Mm. Uh, and okay. and maybe like some nuts, but it's plants, vegetables, right. fruits. No, nuts is definitely meat. <laughs> Pause. I don't no. know why that sounds nuts like is definitely meat. <laughs> I'm, is, that, I, is, that your, is that your new merch? Nuts is definitely meat. BT. No, not BT. I'm a, I, I'm, <laughs> yeah. What? I, I, I don't pass that on, but that, it won't be for me. But but I told you to hear the main thing I cut when I lost all of the weight for real was bread. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but pizza and, and sandwiches and burgers though. And sandwiches, sandwiches Chicken. and burgers together. And no, one. not together. I mean, there was a comma in there. <laughs> do you do you do you ever do lettuce wraps? Yeah, yeah, I do that. Like if I'm like if I got somebody dare me. <laughs> Yo, to hear do a lettuce wrap and then, and and wash it down with the buns. <laughs> you ever? <laughs> hey, you ever do the, the lacos? What's that? It's, it's tacos, but you put them like in lettuce. Like Man, in that's lettuce. a lettuce wrap. That's, that's a, wrap. a lettuce wrap. That's no, like the same thing. You, 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 you gotta flip it over. You keep it, you keep it open like that. 
Yeah, that's what they they give you like at PF Chain, right? They do the little lettuce wrap with yeah. the iceberg and the chicken. That, is, that is a lettuce wrap. No, no, no. <laughs> wrap is you gotta tuck it like that. Well, I mean, we rap, think, rap we think is, you're trying to change it. It's exactly the same thing. Oh, so if you tuck it, it's a wrap. If you leave it open, it it's depends a on the size of the lettuce. And, and it's a, I mean, if you're talking about burgers, tacos, it's all the same thing. Though. I'm talking about tacos. Listen, you make ground the ground turkey, right? You you take the you take the little salsa, you put it in there, the little uh, cheese, and you take it in the top and you bite it like that. If you if you wrap it, it's different. Like some things are just factual. Like if you if you have sex on top of the covers, that's fucking. But if you go under the covers, that's making love. Everybody know that. Something. <laughs> Well, listen, no, hold on, but wait, 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 because what if you just pull the covers back? Now, technically, you're not on top of the covers, but you're neither under them. Then that's still, that's still fucking. What if you stick the leg out? Is that like putting some sour cream on a lettuce wrap? If the cover, if you, wait, if you put sour cream on the lettuce? Well, I'm saying if you stick a leg out, if you can't see my leg because I don't stretch that well, but like if you stick a leg out the covers, in the, I'm just wondering how the analogy works towards the letters. Really, the covers up on the back and shoulder. It's like covers past the waist is making love. <laughs> up past the waist. If it's past the waist, like in the movies. When they throw it over. Da -da, feels like heaven. To be honest, now that you're bringing it up, it does. I do want to have a question for the gentleman. When you bring the covers up over you, it's like I already know what you look like naked. What are you hiding from? I was going to ask y'all the same question. Maybe I'm cold. <laughs> cold? That's a great answer. When, when you, I'm you, having sex, I immediately heat up. I can yeah, be, we I can sweat a lot. No, just we sweat a lot. So after oh sex, God. you turn the fan on or you turn the air on, mm -hmm. and, and then it starts cooling off. So you pull that cover up, like, ooh, shit. Yeah, but when you're in the act, when you're in the act and you choose to bring it over. Women, women, why y'all take y'all shirt off and then cover your titties up? Ooh, good question. I'll do that. Good question. I feel like they only do that in movies, though. No, nah, women do that well, in real life. Real life. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No. I'm not about to cover it up sex unless we unless there's other people in the room. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only that's the only reason you got to cover up, man. Is if somebody's in the other bed sleep and you're getting it in, that's the <laughs> cover up, the sneaky sex. But if you're just chilling in the in the man, take the covers off. I like to see the female nudity during mm -hmm. the match. Are y'all are y'all completely opposed to the lights being on? I like a little light, candlelight or low light, hey, light in the bathroom. I, I'm like I'm a I'm a little vain. I'll be liking this. I'll be like, no, you need to see this this structure that God created. Naked. Wow, you, need, you are highly confident. You need to understand the moment. Know where you at. This is you not might not never be back here. Do you feel like every woman wants the lights on with you, or is that a thing that you only want? It's the, this is the new Lance. He got abs now, so he'd be acting different. It's um, <laughs> I don't I don't know. I, I I'm not sure. This is, I was just curious. No, I, I feel like I feel like I feel like um everyone should understand their experience. Mm. So I don't feel like every woman wants me, no, but I feel like the women who do want me should Turn experience me in full mode you're like you said you wanted me so turn the house lights on it's it's like tender lovings having sex without them things out we was like you we know you got them things you we you said covering up the shirts you're like i wish the fuck i would i barely wear bra to work so i'm not covering up doing sex i don't i hate bras period okay yeah but you're also gorgeous so, like, why would you? I'm not, I'm not gorgeous, Heidi. Wait a minute. Don't, uh, don't do that. Well, okay. So <laughs> we're in a technical area of the conversation. No, she gave me a, <laughs> she gave me a whole okay. speech about she's my in, Lance, She's in a relationship. She's in a relationship. She, she, she's in a relationship. she Lance, can't compliment you, Lance. Lance. That's all it is. Lance, technically speaking, you have to admit you are not as gorgeous. Right or no, or am I? Uh, like, if, we, if we had a poll of who looks better between tender lovies and Lance, yeah, Lance is taking this L. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you, like Lance, just like it's it's fine. I mean, no disrespect uh, to Lance. No disrespect no to Lance. Disrespect. I don't think so it's just but, like but let me ask you on, on the on the on the election of who looked better, Lance but, or tender lovies? Yeah, like, like, I'm not trying to, exactly. I'm I don't trying disagree. To disagree. I don't disagree. I think. Uh, <laughs> Tender Lovings is gorgeous. My only question is, how many times do I get to vote? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm looking at the polls right now. You were ahead, and then 
Michigan just went to Tender Loving. <laughs> I mean, Michigan it flipped, and we, it, it, it flipped it. Arizona's now with Tender Loving. And so yeah. it, and, oh my god. They said landslide. <laughs> <laughs> she got she getting her unanimous MVP vote. She getting her, her she don't even need the electoral she, college she, vote. She don't even need the electoral college vote. They Lynn, if it makes you feel better, I would lose too. Like this is not like this is but one. No, lose. that that depends on who who because you say, say, hold, on, take, hold on, baby girl. Go take Idaho. <laughs> Idaho don't like me. I've been to Idaho. Montana they don't like it's all Heidi. No, I've been to Montana. <laughs> they don't like me. Like, a... <laughs> actually, I've never been to Montana. I don't know. Heidi, let me ask you this: Are okay. you accepted in the white community? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's a serious question because some no, it, some, some white people aren't accepted in the white community. It's a serious answer. Yeah, I, got, I got a follow-up question. I don't want to cut nobody off. But... Wait, hold on. Let her elaborate on this one. So you, you're not accepted in that? Uh, I, I truly do not feel like I am accepted. Um, I have multiple categories for hard proof of why I'm not accepted. Uh, and it actually makes me feel very conflicted sometimes when people are like, talk to your white counterparts. I'd be like, I tried like 10 plus 15 years ago. They don't like me. Like, so... I don't know how to talk to them because they won't always talk to me. There are some people that accept me, but uh, for the most part, I feel not accepted. Uh, I've been called names. Uh, I, uh, I've i worked with other white people who have uh, talked very badly about me specifically because I work with people who don't look like them. Uh, so no, I don't feel accepted and I would, I would like to know if I am. I think everybody likes to know if they're accepted by people, but to answer your question, Tony, like, no, based on very specific circumstances, both personally, professionally, and family-wise, don't feel accepted. Uh, that may be due to my upbringing, just because I kind of have been uh, not really, I've been alone most of my upbringing, so like it may be due to just an outside circumstance. But to answer your question, no, I do not feel accepted. Mm. Seriously, yeah, and it's not. It's not to have pity because I don't give a fuck. Because right, 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 right. Yeah. Like, just... Okay, if you don't accept me, it is what it is. But to answer your question, nope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, we're not accepted in the white community either. <laughs> I am. I am. I don't even hold you. Yeah, I, I'm excited. I, I, no, I, no I, I am too, but we're trying to make her feel better. I, 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 I mean, forget all that, man. You we ain't about to, making people feel better. Make me, you don't have to make me feel better. I'm, jo I'm joking with you. I know you are. I'm sorry. Sometimes I take this joke seriously. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that white people don't like is when people take jokes too serious. <laughs> Wait, but why you why did you ask that tony may i ask because like you know i can tell i i really feel like black people are your tribe you just always gravitate towards your tribe and so whenever you're around us you just seem comfortable you've always yep. seemed like that and so and then i wonder like and you know i know other people uh other white people like that like when they're around a lot of black people they're just comfortable and you could tell like Oh, this, we're your tribe. And so with that comes, are you accepted in the white community? So, and I always wondered that about you. And I was like, she's probably not. <laughs> Just based on that, you know what I mean? Yeah. I know that happens. And so I, that's why yeah. I asked. I mean, you know, it would be great to be, I think any, but I think anybody wants to feel accepted, right, by not just their community, but other communities, because that's how you feel, that's how you start conversations, right? Like, um, but yeah, I don't currently feel that way for multiple reasons. And I do really appreciate you noticing that because to be honest, the black community has very much embraced me and made me feel like welcome. Let me ask this, with, with the reason you feel like they might not and or you feel like the reason that black people do, do you think it might be because of the laugh? Because the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Listen, I've said that about Heidi before. I said, I told Heidi, you know, Heidi, Heidi date black guys too. And so Heidi really? would go to a restaurant with a black guy. She really dates black. Are you serious? Shut up, Lance. Heidi <laughs> would go in a restaurant black 
with a the black guy, out. and everybody look, and then they hit her lap. <laughs> they be like, "Okay, that's why we." <laughs> you know, you know, when we get together, we loud, right? So Heidi fits right that's into that. You know what I'm saying? We be in there making when we having a good time. Volume, <laughs> volume. Why? You know what? Someone said, and I can't remember who it is right now, but I, it was something that I really enjoyed is uh, uh, joy is an act of rebellion. You know? Uh, why you got your head in your hands? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heidi, I'm pitching the first time you did the lab. Like uh, like a white parent, like like snatched the stroganoff off your table and slid you some greens, and like at that, you know, <laughs> they took the shepherd's pie. No turning back after that. You've been with us ever since. It was it was not that quick, but I do like the uh the visual for the sketch. Oh, but joy joy is an act of rebellion. So yeah, I'm fucking loud. And if people have a problem with it, I'll be like, well, it sounds like you mad today. And no, I'm I, you have one of the mo most joyous Ooh, laughs. What was that to you? She has one of the most joyous okay. laughs. It sounds really <laughs> heartfelt. And it sounds like you're really enjoying that moment. And you shouldn't have to change that up for anybody. Actually, we should be more like you. Like to I laugh. like, I Nobody like loud laughs. laughs. Unapologetically. I like loud laughs. Just, Nobody you know, should be more like got to laugh like that, too. Don't let them fool you. When, when <laughs> you, you, you going, man. <laughs> it, it would just laugh. suck if that laugh was at your expense, though. That that would drive you insane. <laughs> yeah, BT, yeah, maybe that's why you never heard me, because your laugh is, is louder than mine. Touche. Touche. Everybody, <laughs> everybody got crazy laughs, like uh, Teddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Teddy. His laugh. Pat's laugh. Um, <laughs> he's very breathy in his laugh. <laughs> like, he, like he in Lamar's class? <laughs> people, people that I know that watch uh, the Tony Baker and Friends on Amazon, they would hit me and like, Doc, are you there? Because I can hear you laugh. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's definitely me. I can, I can hear BT and Clayton in the, in the special. You <laughs> did be laughing like the mask. <laughs> the original? The Jim Carrey one or the original? The, the Jim Carrey one. <laughs> oh, the original mask. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit, man. I love making fun of, fun of, fun of people's lives. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? I couldn't get out of here in no time. <laughs> Yo, nothing makes me laugh harder consistently than to hear his fumbling, man. That is <laughs> yo, to hear fumbling, please. I oh. he, could, he could be speaking at my funeral and I will laugh in that cast. <laughs> I will resurrect and be like, what was that you said? <laughs> I feel like oh. back in the all deaf days, sometimes I get called in to do the, the drop and like it would be early in the morning. And to hear would fumble, and I'd start laughing, oh, oh, and man. I could hear, I could feel his tension. Like <laughs> I'm just trying to get through this, all right? Like <laughs> the fumble, like I couldn't stop myself. I'd be like, "It's all good." Like, but you was like, "I just want to get through the drop. You are a substitute. Be quiet." It was never like that. If it was any tension, it was for myself. I would fuck up so bad on the drop in the morning. And like sometimes I would get there and the coffee, like they didn't have the creamer or something like that. So I got to do this with no coffee. I'm just like, motherfucking man, don't take the motherfucking day off. She know I can't speak. I'm supposed to be a, I'm supposed to punch up jokes. That's it. I shouldn't be leading a motherfucking story. I had an audition. I had an audition two days ago and this shit would have been big. I mean, this shit was big. That was like, yo, you'd have to come to Canada for three months. We gonna knock it out, yo. It's, it's gonna be crazy. I saw the check. I mean, what they was talking about numbers. I was like, woo! And I saw the fucking audition that they, the words they wanted me to say, man. I look, look. It's it's right here. Look. <laughs> I highlight. I used highlight to highlight it. across that shit, and I was just did like, you, did you say you highlight it? Yeah, you highlighted highlighted it. it. <laughs> and that right there shows y'all exactly why I didn't submit to this. Exactly why this. <laughs> he said. He said exactly. 
Z-A-C-K-L-E-E. Exactly. Yeah, I was like, bro. And I, if you can still submit it, submit it with your words and not theirs. And be like, you gonna take this, you gonna take this audition or you not? I don't even like what you wrote. Like, you know? No. I mean, I'm just saying, if you can't say the words, say your own. And it is what it is. Heidi, why what's you? The, what's the past tense of highlight? Here. It's, it, it doesn't, it doesn't have to. Highlighted. Them words don't have a past tense. Well, so I just say, I highlighted it. You just said. I highlighted it. Yeah, I highlighted it. Right? But not that shit didn't sound right. That shit didn't sound right. No, you just said it. Highlighted. That's why I was highlighted. You said that. I was like, I highlighted that shit. Like, Nigga, I'm so high. Lance, when you got up, I thought you were sitting in front of me and I freaked the fuck out. Oh, snap. She got the munchies. Your pants scared the fuck out of me, too. But, you know, here you we said, are. You said my pants scared you? No. When you got up. <laughs> and stop doing it. Sit back down. It looks so weird because of how I have my, my computer sitting. And so I thought you stood up in my house and I was freaking out. So I'm sorry. Yeah, whatever you smoking, don't ever smoke that again. No, I feel so good. <laughs> I feel so good. To hear what what role was it? Was you playing the Delonte West story? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Girl, look at Delonte West. You having a good time he's over the, there? He's a ginger. He used to play for the Cavaliers. Oh man! Uh, and they showed him. They showed him hooping today. Oh, is he is he better now? Yeah, Mark Cuban went and, and snatched him up, got him in rehab and some treatments, and he was at the gym just shooting around. Oh, he no. was still moving slow, but you, he trying to get his mind back together. He was sick. They taking care of him. He he had some drug oh. issues. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad that they helping him out. Well, it was his fault though. They 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 drugged him up because he he. Never mind. I ain't gonna go that far. I, well, I didn't say it was his fault. Do it, BT. <laughs> I didn't say it was his fault. I know where you was headed. Hey, yeah. sit here. I'm going. I'm gonna back up off of him. He a Laker now, so I'm gonna let him live. I know where you was headed with that one. I was like, oh, hey, what's up, here? What, what up? up, man? Hey. What's up, bro? You uh, where you coming from? <laughs> uh, Bible study. We were just in Bible study. Ooh, I was gonna say you look like you coming from date night. Yeah, look no. like you coming from date night, Kev. What me? Kev, you, you, okay, you no. wouldn't have booked a day night on the night of Keep Your Distance Takeover, would you? No, man. I just definitely knew that you didn't want too many people on at seven, so I I was prepared to come on at eight p.m. What? Pacific. What's the word from Bible study? Because you, they don't always let me in there. This is the word from the Lord. Okay. Amen. Watch this. Listen to this closely. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. The votes. Watch this. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Have mm -hmm. already been cast. Okay. <clears throat> the victory is in your favor, huh? They're Amen. just tallying. Oh, come on. Watch this. <laughs> the enemy, huh, may be ahead, mm -hmm. but weeping may endure for a night. Just a three, night. Preach. Or three. But or joy <laughs> coming in the morning. Yay. If you will just bide in your time. Biden in the Greek means to wait. Oh, come on. Y'all don't get this. Y'all not getting this. No. You got don't. to bide your time. Right. And wait on God. Amen. The devil may start out the race quickly, but mm -hmm. such is the tortoise in the hare. He yeah. who starts fast does not always finish. Oh, well, come on in here. All now, over the building we're question. standing. Quick question about what you just said, Kev. Um, so what did you order at date night? Amen. I ordered the scriptures and God revealed this unto me <laughs> that the word from the Lord. See, I've got to seek his face to hear. Huh? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I've got to unplug. Tony, you're not looking, Tony. You're looking oh, yeah. off to the side. I'm right I need here. you to focus. You, you're you looking off to the side and God is speaking directly to you. Come on in here. Huh? You yeah, no, no, no. God is using me. Come oh, on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See those dimples in the side of your face. God has said mm -hmm. that he wants to pull up the blessing. Oh, come on in here. In the dimple. They called it a, 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 a man. They call the dimple a, 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 a genetic malfunction. Come on. They said that. This is the formula. But that mouth. 
function has led you to victory. Hey, yes, 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 yes. So, so if someone was to ask you hypothetically, what you ate on date night, what, <laughs> what, what would you say? Listen, you know, we dine on the body of Christ and we drink his blood. <laughs> we just had communion. Communion comes in different forms. Sometimes it's wine, sometimes it's Hennessy. It just depends on what the Lord says <laughs> that, that <laughs> night. As long as you Kip. are doing it in remembrance of him. Hey, where, where, where's, where's Melissa at? Because she won't lie on camera. Where's Melissa? Melissa is not. She's indisposed. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it matter what... The, the first lady and I were doing. You shouldn't be asking nothing about what anybody ate. Thank Melissa you, didn't eat. <laughs> Melissa sat around and watched other people eat at dinner, and she was like, "Ooh, that looked good." One day, I'm listen gonna order. to here. I I I accept my wife and her food. You know what I mean. Poor food. My son. I, this is just what we accept in order for marriage to work out beautifully. Amen. She just doesn't eat a lot to hear. That's just, she's always been like that. I love her, even she still. Eat, period. She doesn't eat a lot, Tone. She just she just eats enough to survive. She thinks about it. She gets excited. And then she <laughs> falls in the bed. Tony don't never, Tony don't never let Melissa off the hook about her eating. I saw Melissa, her eat on her meal one time we were shooting. I was excited. Melissa Sorry. puts her food rations in a ketchup packet. That's how little she eats. <laughs> Melissa just she just gets she don't get excited for food and she and she tires of eating quickly. <laughs> I wish I had that man. I want that, that. That's how I eat. She got a she got a friend. <laughs> My son is her friend. My son, he don't he he eats just enough to survive. He don't uh -huh. be my my youngest son eats uh Joe. Joe don't have much of an appetite either. Really? There's so much man, food on Sunday. Joe, Bro, Joe came man. downstairs the other day and Joe grabbed five chicken legs. But he ate half he ate of one. Chicken? Joe grabbed five chicken legs, bro. But did he eat? But that, but that was for the yeah. year. Yeah, but that's really like a testament to how much food there is. Because the only time you eat too much is because you feel like the food ain't coming. So I would like to congratulate have. That's a good point, Heidi. That's a great no, point. No, I mean, Thank I'm you. just being honest. Like, when I eat a ton of food, it's because I'm like, and at points in my life when I ate a lot, it's like, I don't know what's next. Like, so <laughs> That's it, that it, foster child. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, like, if if, 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 if your family not eating, it's because they know, they know they're not going to go hungry. Am I a pastor yet? <laughs> <laughs> You need three amens in there. Yeah. Kev, you wore a suit tonight, baby boy? Nah, man. This is just a little jacket from Zara. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Slight work, light work. You feel me? Are you, are you, you know saying? That jacket is from Zara. <laughs> that joke's been done a lot of times, and it didn't work for you. So, and it was super quiet in here when you did that. It was really quiet. Like, I thought Zoom had messed up. That jacket's from It was so quiet, I thought something happened. Nah, man. Let it go, bro. Let it go. <laughs> you got to say it again. And Let see it go. Next time. Well, uh, no, explain it and then say it. That, jack, that jacket's from Zaw. <laughs> All of the A's is because he's bigger. So, yeah. Uh, oh, sell, uh sells smaller clothes. So, for a normal size person, it's Zaw. But for a bigger person, it's Zaw and you stretch it out. Like the fact. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Redo it. All right. We ready this time. Go. <laughs> one more time. One more time. Yeah, that jacket's from Zaw. <laughs> <laughs> so here, I, 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 I low key got to admire your commitment. Your commitment to the joke is astounding. Oh, uh, I get it now. So it's funny, you know, because I get it. You know, now. without Lance, without Lance. <laughs> you know, the viewing public might not have known what he was what he was going for. I, I didn't get it. Why you got that Boy Scouts cap on? Huh? Why you got the Boy Scouts cap on? It's not a Boy Scout cap. This is uh from that black. You remember that when we in Atlanta and I got that big brim? Oh yeah. Yo, why do the Boy Scouts not have no cookies to sell? They don't. They don't have Oh man, we missed. Oh man, the Boy Scouts don't need to sell no cookies because that's the woman's game. 
They don't bring nothing to the table. Our lane. <laughs> they, they sell um they sell matchbooks. They got matchbooks and switchblades. Wait, they I'm don't, sorry. They nobody is kids. buying Boy Scouts nothing. They no, let, they, 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 got, let, they got matchbooks. They got like decorative matchbooks. And lighters, and they also sell um like you Swiss said, Army knives. They, they they should just let the little Boy Scouts sell little rounds of bullets. Then if they gonna go that hard on the merch, you let them sell First of all, to, you said the merch. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that Boy Scout merch? Isn't that isn't that they isn't that they merch or is it is it not merch? No, nah, that's just know. that's just what they that's just what they do for a fundraiser. Like the matchbooks are all like yeah, but it's it, merch. It goes back trash to trash merch. That's man. It. They got the trash merch. <laughs> the Boy Scouts' biggest thing was the movie Up. Outside of that, they ain't had nothing in the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People keep saying popcorn. Ain't nobody getting no Boy Scout popcorn. It ain't hot. They sell popcorn? That's what, that's what they keep saying in the comment section. I'm like, man, ain't nobody buying. I ain't nobody never buy buying Boy Scouts popcorn in my life. I ain't never seen them out there hustling no popcorn. Nah, they don't do that. nothing, bro. I don't want to be seeing the Boy Scouts like that in general. No. What do you want, what do you want the boy as 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 a community of men? What do you want to see the Boy Scouts? Want to on them cookies. Protect the Boy Scouts. No, but we women is already selling cookies. Why are you trying to take our lane? Because we're all equal. I mean, if they so, were selling like gourmet popcorn, I would pull up on that. But I literally never see them on the streets. Like if they had cheese corn, I'm pulling up on that. I'm like, hey, yo, yeah, man, for sure. Got I got the cheese corn, I got the butter, I got the kettle corn. None of this, I never see it on the streets. Yeah, because the boy they scout they don't even be at the grocery store. Tone, you say what? I said the boy scouts do not be at the grocery store. They don't be at the CVS, the Walgreens. They don't be out in the community. Girl scouts be in the streets. They be, be in on the corner. stores. They be in cut they liquor stores. They be out there. Be like, yeah, man, Girl Scout cookies. You know what I'm saying? Crack houses. They be in front of them. <laughs> that's because Tony, oh, really that's out here. That's because they've been teaching women to be on the corner since the man. beginning. Wow. They be in front of hospitals, casinos. I'll be like, you ain't also, even also the Girl the Scouts. The Girl Scouts made great collabs. They they had the Girl Scouts ice cream. They had the thing with Angela and uh, uh Vanessa Simmons. They had the shoes. Social the Boy media. Scouts, they got nothing. They got nothing in the community. So which one of y'all gonna collab with the Boy Scouts? Because it sounds like y'all know what the marketing is. So uh, hide it, hide it, hide it, hide it, hide it, hide it, hide it. <laughs> Fuck them kids. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's not let's not ever get too far off the of square. It's always FTK all day. Don't ever get the it boy. Twisted. The Boy Scouts got an interesting reputation. Really? Yeah. What's up? They didn't do nothing, but you know they talk about what happens to the Boy Scouts. Yeah, you know, we don't want to be around for that. What happened to the Boy Scouts? I'm gonna go mute this. I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna just mute this because this don't sound like it's gonna be sponsored <laughs> for me at all. He's gonna try to. He's gonna try to look. <laughs> nope. See, that is exactly why. That's exactly why. Don't worry about it. Well, if this is scandalous, so Kev, what you order tonight for dinner? <laughs> we were just reading the Bible, man. My Nigga, tell, tell us what you ate. Tell us what you ate. Tender lovings. How are you, Dominique? How are you? I'm well. How are you, sir? I'm good. It's good to see you. Your glasses look good. Er every the, the background looks good. Everything looks good. Thank you. Like you. Like you. Your, your, your wife goes to my guy, Greg. Oh, you know Greg? Oh, you do yeah, have short I'm, hair. Yes. It's, it's, it's a small community. Anytime, anytime the I short hair community in LA is very small. Because I know he'd be over there. He do. He do be go. He do. He Has Greg been to the house? No, not our house. He, he ain't been to our house. He's been to our home oh. girl house. We, okay. Let me tell you something, our, Kev. You, you, ain't, you ain't shit either. Because I told you about my homegirl, Chef Io. My homegirl that cooked that fire macaroni and cheese. And you was like, oh, okay, I don't need another chef friend. And then somebody and their husband told you about Chef Io and you hired her. And she called me, she was like, why somebody else got to mention me to Kev to get a job? Who's Chef Io? <laughs> I don't know who Chef Io is to hear. I'm gonna tell you exactly who she said told me, told her about you. Uh, let me, let me- Why are you about. doing this in public in front of company? Why are you- <laughs> Cause you wouldn't tell me what you ate. Tender love is just to clear of fuck books. I just wanted to make sure that we was. <laughs> you say what? Fuck books, just in general. It's a lot of books behind you. Just fuck books in general. Oh. Yeah. What's up, BT? How you doing, man? 
connection, man. Yeah. Oh, good, bro. <laughs> it feel like we saying Zara. <laughs> Next <laughs> meeting up. You saw it too? It was like da 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 da. Is that me? Are you yeah. good now? Yeah, I'm great, bro. <laughs> I'm great, Ken. Tend to love it. Your background look like, like you a sports reporter from home. That's how they be breaking yeah. trades and draft talks with all yeah, the books right. behind you. That's what I was going for. You got the Adam Scheffner look going in your background. <laughs> <laughs> y'all got to fix y'all light, though. For whatever reason, my light looks like different than y'all's. Uh, your light is never I good. BT, even Kev's light, the dramatic light is better than what you got going on right now. Kev, Kev, did you drink tonight? Hmm. Look at no. that. <clears throat> Not a Bible study. Only community. I gotta, I gotta be on set at tomorrow at nine. I don't, I don't be drinking when I gotta be on set early. You can scoot over. Are you happy now? I'm glad they was in the same crib. <laughs> The lighting is way better, BT, where Lance is at. <laughs> way better. Way Wait, Lance, you staying at Lance, Lance, you staying at BT's house? Huh? I, I just I just got in like an hour ago. Yeah. From Sacramento. What? Yeah. No, I was in San Francisco. I like Sacramento, man. <clears throat> oh, this, hey, Sacramento. I like Sacramento. Yo, oh, this is yeah. my dilemma. I got. I need some help. Maybe somebody can help me. So this is what happened. This is what I was telling you about earlier. To hear. Yeah. On my way to the airport, a woman who I, I'm fond of her, she's great. She spilled coffee on my shoes. She's a celebrity? No, 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 no. Okay. She takes me to the airport. Mm -hmm. She spilled coffee on my shoes on the way to the airport. So I can't, I don't, I can't go change. I can't go. I'm going to have to repack different outfits because when I, I leave L.A. tomorrow after the show, I got to go straight to Baltimore. So I got, like, the clothes packed for the weekend. She spilled coffee on my shoes. Oh, oh wow. Uh, oh, that's a lot. That's not, a, like, a drip. That's that's a tall. Oh. <laughs> on the Space Jams? Oh. Bottom. Oh no. Oh. Uh, the whole thing. Oh, hold, wait a minute. Oh wow. She, is that both of them? Yes. What was ice or hot? Dang, it was hot. It was a cappuccino. Oh. That's what I to hear. Yo, yo, yo. When I, I tell you, you can borrow these, but he says it's not the same. Are that some Zara? <laughs> no, <don't be> Zara. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that light. Is that a light and a strip pool? Yeah, don't worry about me. I'll show y'all lighting. <laughs> I have I have some Jason Marks cleaner that'll get that off. You just gotta come over here and get it though. You, you think I won't? I'm on my way now. Fuck this show. I'm gonna close this laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, well, man. Like, That's cool. Like if, if I was at home, it would have been like, of course, I don't want coffee on my Michael Jordan shoes, but whatever. Right. But I'm going. Michael, like, you call him by his full name. My Michael Jeffrey Jordan shoes. <laughs> I ain't heard him call the Michael Jordans in a lot. See, I got those Michael Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee on my Michael Jordan. Ain't nobody said that since '98, Lance. How much you pay for those shoes, Lance? You know what? Don't crazy tell Tony. Part? Don't don't tell Tony because this is what he likes to do and make. Make people feel bad about their decision. Meanwhile, he spent four hundred dollars on some Air Force. I mean, uh, some ones before. Oh, I did. Uh, I'm about to. You want? I'm, I pay. I got these for free. Oh. How though? Yeah, like oh, what do you do? selling dick. <laughs> oh my! No. Selling it, BT. <laughs> got to sell it. That's that's the one hustle that consistently gets underrated. Oh, I sold drugs. I, I, I sell pills, weed, meat. Been <laughs> in these people are not selling. <laughs> oh, that's what you sell. Oh no, Dick, 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 been for sale for a long time, Heidi. Let me tell you, I know you've been around the blacks for a while, but come kick it some more. <laughs> There's a lot more secrets we got to show you. <laughs> I feel like the price. I feel like I the price is low. 
to be it's honest, not, it, not, it don't. Uh, to be honest, just respectfully, it doesn't matter on race. I don't want to buy any dick. No, no, but no. You don't I feel work. Like the, the exchange. I feel like the exchange rate for peen is way low. Yeah. So like coochie, the the coochie is probably yeah. like the euro, and the peen is like the peso. Yeah, pain. like I don't no, it, listen. I don't buy. No, no. I don't buy any dick. That's me, not okay. Okay, let me, let me say this right. First off, you can't package it as I'm selling dick because that don't sell. You got to you got to come up with clever marketing schemes. Make some skits, some sketches. Get creative. You can't just be like, yo, it's dick for sale, and ain't nobody buying that because they know dick is free everywhere. So you might be selling conversation that comes with dick. You might be selling uh uh what uh. Yeah, this is called escorting. Welcome to the game, babe. Like yes. escorting. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, women been doing that for a while. Anyways, you yeah. your shoes <laughs> still have coffee on them. So how do you get the coffee out? I'm going to his house. I don't even know I'm talking to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's 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 it, it, it. some wing stop on the way to tell your house. I live around the corner. You want some wing stop? I bring you some wing stop. <laughs> that's that's see Heidi. That's how you sell dick. You spring wings. <laughs> always you always start with food. I'm bringing wing stop. <laughs> that's called an investment. <laughs> Return on investment is key. Oh. Oh. Take a, a stack of books with them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you. Some of them shelves look a little empty. <laughs> To here, see, this is why I don't switch up my lighting, bro, because you don't respect it. I didn't went to, uh, I'm hanging with the Guardians of the Galaxy right now. <laughs> Rack and Raccoon and Groot over here, you don't care. <laughs> BT and Magic City. <laughs> hey, we passed out them voter registrations in here, baby. Ain't nothing magic about that city. <laughs> What's up, Samira? <laughs> What's up? Hey, I'm trying to get some question? light. Look. I'm in the car trying to, I'm from the hair shop trying to talk to y'all and get some light. But what's up? Yo, hey, I'm Sorry good. I'm late. You Thank you. Wow, you look gorgeous. Hey, Kamira, how are you? Good. Hi, Kevin. Okay. Sorry okay, with the extra tomorrow. chin here. Huh? <laughs> That's Kevon. That's Kevon. Oh, <laughs> come on, man. Do not start that again. <laughs> Let it go, Let no. Long as there's Bob Bob, there'll be Kevon. <laughs> no, but you told us about Bob Bob. I did not create Kevon. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's available for everybody to see. Kevon stay. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was Kevon Stage. <laughs> <laughs> Who works at Tarje? <laughs> Man, I promise you, I did not think that many people saw that interview. I was wrong. I was, I, first of all, I was mad at the host for not correcting it. I was like, oh, she is in on the, she's in on the scam. Well, I, I mean, I for one missed it. So just for the record, I didn't know. Somebody Heidi, you didn't oh. miss nothing. Oh, uh, Kevon went on Wendy Williams. It's a, it's a... Really? Oh, oh my God, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, God. You'll see it. <laughs> I'll bring you some wing stop and we'll watch it together. Uh, y'all say, wait a minute, wait. So wait. I, I used to say your name Kevon for the longest. And my sister used to correct me. I was like, nigga, his name is Kevon. Like I used to say that shit too. My bad. I don't see how many people think my name is Kevon. My name was Kevon. Kevon State. That's why, Kevon. because niggas. Niggas be spelling their kids' name. Kevon, like that. You know it. Because niggas. But I feel like Kevon, if my name was Kevon, Kevon stage wouldn't make, it would be Kevon on stage. That just sound weird. Yeah, oh, I no. thought your shit was oh, Kevin no. the whole time. I never, I, I never was confused. Like, I thought it was Kevin. Oh, name. I thought your name was Kevon. Kamira Kim thought it was Kevin stage. <laughs> I thought that was no, funny. no. I thought his name was Kevin, period. It like, is. I, I, that was it. Like I didn't. I didn't think Kevon was was. I thought that was Kev on stage. I never read it like Kevon. No, no, you're right. A lot of people. A lot of people low key think my last name is Stage. Yes. Yeah. Well, that shit. Is not even the last name. Like you don't. You never. Yep, there you go. <laughs> last 
maybe four. You know you. Listen, listen, man. I well, to- you know what? You might have came from them niggas that renamed themselves after. <laughs> <laughs> come here. Let me show you the come here. This is the genius part. Because I figured it out. Because I because I know I've been knowing Kev for a long time. So what he did was he knew he was going to do well on the internet. So he made his name Kev on stage so you would always know he's a comic. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. BG. No. And I, he was like, what are you talking about? I was like, dog, I'm hip to this bullshit. I know what you did, bro. <laughs> no, BT, what happened was I thought I was, my name was Kevin Fredericks on Twitter and a whole bunch of people were getting fired for their tweets. And I was like, I cannot afford to lose this job. So I'm going to change my name to Kevin on stage so I don't get fired. And then I end up getting fired from that job anyway. So it didn't really matter. I got fired for just being a bad employee, not for <laughs> tweets. I'm <laughs> blow up. On the internet, but I need them to know I be on stage. Brilliant. No, uh-uh. <laughs> it's not, it, it may not be a stick like that. I, BT always give me credit for that. I wish I was that forward thing. Brilliant. You know, I just didn't want to get fired. Good job. So I know I came in here defending the Kevon thing. Uh, Jason. Okay, Jason, so wait. So Jason. since we're talking about names, did anybody have a different name that they started off with? Because I was gonna name myself Pork Chop, like for real, Loki, like like, and then I was like, "That's dumb as fuck." Like you, like like, no, for real, like. So did everybody just choose their names? Like, how did y'all choose? Like, y'all, and then after that, I got, I got, I got distracted and said, "Bitch, you come here. Don't try to make up nothing. That's just yeah. who the fuck you I like, are." Why, like, my, why my, Pork my, Chop, come here? Because I was thick. I mean, I was thinking like coming to the stage, poke chop. Like I don't know. I don't know. I was trying to like do something. Like I don't know something. You know, different. Like I don't know. That's it different. didn't work. It was corny. Wow. I'm so glad you didn't go with pork chop. <laughs> coming to the stage, pork chop. No, this is yes. not 1994. So, can you imagine you making it into movies and you got pork chop as your name on the credits? <laughs> I ain't never changed shit. My name is my name. Mommy, why they call you pork chop? Why you think? <laughs> <laughs> Heidi Heasley. You ain't have to, you had a cool name already. I mean, it's my name. I mean, my father told me to drop that shit. He threatened me and he was like, take your last name off. I was like, bro, this shit already in SAG. You gonna have to take it up to the <laughs> I was like, if you wanted me to drop your last name, that was between you and the hospital I was born at. So <laughs> why do y'all think like, the, why do y'all think those stage names went away? Like well, everybody me, comes you had a stage name, but now that's not as common. I'm actually mad that I never made a stage name because looking back, I understand why people do because it's a tax situation. So I'm actually mad that I never made another name because then you can start to filter different things. Like I don't know how it really works because I'm still working through my taxes, but you can filter through things through different things. But uh, unfortunately, I'm just Heidi Heaslet. But uh-uh. yeah, I don't like that that people on the street be like, "Come here," and I think I know them, and it's just fans and shit. That's why I kind of yeah. like one of the stage names, so I can I, know who the fuck is calling me. I'm, I'm like, mad. You know I what never, I'm saying? I hear you. I'm mad. I never made a stage name because people would be hitting you up, and you'd be like, "Do I know you?" And they trick yes. you. Yes, you know them. So I yep. feel it's frustrating. You're like, I wish I made up another name. No, you don't. Yes. <laughs> I, I thought, yeah, but you're I not thought. a woman. BT, it's kind of scary when people be acting like they know you and you be like, I don't know you. He tells his life, y'all funny. It, the stage names are for people that are not funny. Okay, listen. It's only true. It's a fact. The only one that slipped through the crack is like earthquake. It's about, it's about that's it. That's not, not true. That's, that's not true. That's not true. That's hey, name. Cedric the Entertainer is funny. Cedric. Yeah. Cedric. Sinbad. Sinbad is the name. Yeah, but not just Sinbad. Sinbad, Sinbad, Sinbad is Sinbad. one of the funniest they ever do. Yeah, Sinbad. BT, BT is not just comedians. Like, like Jamie there Fox. are very valuable like rappers, artists, like. Oh, no. I'm not talking about rappers. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, I'm talking about tax purposes and knowing people with purposes. The tax purposes don't matter because you could just get an LLC in whatever name you want. Okay, but I'm just saying what we were saying, like, when people call your name and it's your actual name and they don't know you, it makes you feel cornered sometimes. Yeah. Heidi, Heidi, 
I used I'm, to not, I'm not feeling Heidi's excuse. I'm just <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll say it, all right? Okay. I used to go by serious on stage, okay? Because I was serious. <laughs> oh, my God. No, BT. E-R-E-U-S. Serious with a C. C-E- no, you you spelled it sep- you spelled it differently, too? E-R-E-U-S. <laughs> what? And then I tried, to, I tried to make it better by going serious, BT Kings. Like, you know what they, you know what somebody told me? It was a book in there. You said, you know, nobody, nobody going to take you serious with a name like serious. <laughs> Every time I meet a comedian that's normally pretty young in the game and they have one of them weirdo names, I say, I ask them, who are your favorite comedians? <laughs> and when they start going through them, I realize you didn't say nobody with no made up name. Cedric is a name. Cedric the Entertainer. Okay. Yeah, but, but people make up names that sound real. You can so Heidi, if you made up a name, like if you say I'm gonna be Jennifer Kumquat, okay, fine, that's different. I I'm, just, I'm I got nothing. The so if you make up a name, Jamie Foxx, that's different. That's fine. I'm talking about names that aren't names like rappers. The only one that I can think of right now is DC Young Fly. It's the only name that's coming to me right now. And he's coming from you, and even he has DC there. Is his name not DC? I no, he's from DC. No, I thought Turn it was because he's from DC. Yeah. <laughs> he's from, he's so from Atlanta. Tony so Baker, what about Sinbad? I thought he's from Sinbad. Oh, shit, I don't know. Sinbad. That's, that's somebody with a completely made up name that pop. No, it's not. Sinbad is a name. You can make up a name j- as long as it's a name. You just can't be on stage like, yeah, it's hey, your burger. Crush, crush stage crusher. Oh, you talking about that type of? Oh, you talking about you talking about pork chop? Oh, I was like just Hamburg. talking about I was just talking about a different name than you're born with. I didn't mean that it had to be like. Yeah, I thought. Was... <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought that would have been cute. <laughs> Earth- earthquake might be the only one. Be the only one. <laughs> Y'all go. It's gonna be. I'm telling you, he's the only one. No, it's. Oh, well, yeah, you're right. You, you ain't, ain't you right. ain't you ain't feeling cat in the hat. What about what about G fan? Man, next. Oh, G fan be fighting for you to call him Gary Johnson, and I even Heidi. I give you a pass on Scruncho, so we got Scruncho and Earthquake. <laughs> Heidi, do you have a story? Yes, I do. I'll save that for another episode of one of your podcasts. Oh, we can go my show. Y'all can hash it out. We can. Call we him. own it right now. No, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Yo. Jokes, you hear me? Y'all is, y'all is, y'all are ridiculous, man. They say you need to go by Bob Bob on stage, but it didn't take. <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bob Bob Moore. <laughs> hey, y'all. You uh-uh. to go there. I, I, don't, I don't know the Bob Bob story. <laughs> Ain't no story behind it. Oh, let's hear the Bob Bob story. There's a story in front of it. <laughs> I don't care the positioning of the story. I just hey, what that. about they saying in the comments? What about Cat Williams? He got a stage name and he's hilarious. I that's what that's exactly who I was gonna bring up. I, Cat Williams is one of my favorite that, fucking comics. That's like, why I said. That's why I said Cat in the Hat. That was his original name. Uh, Wait, what? was it really? It was yeah. Cat in the Hat. Yeah. And he switched it to Cat Williams because that sounds like a name. Okay, so that's a, we agree, BT. Like, but, but I'm what what I think Kamir and I were saying is like like I I don't like that people know my government name <laughs> yeah. because it's attached to a. Why are you laughing at me? Girl, somebody called BT. No, no, BT. Yeah. No, because these fans, these fans will be calling you in the mall like you, like y'all, we cousins or something. Like, come here, come here. Like, and I'm like, who the fuck is that? Like, what the fuck is going on? And then I feel bad because I'm like, am I supposed to? Your first world problems. Yeah. Okay, I I hear you. I'm not saying like it's the worst thing in the whole world, but we're talking about stage names versus like, and I'm not, I get it. When something's like a cat in the hat, like chill out. But like, it would be nice sometimes to be like when you're on and when you're off, you know, because but you, like. But you don't think that um, if if your fans grew to know you as that stage name, it doesn't yep. matter 
if you're out that or if you're out or not, or they call you by your real name and your oh, state name, it's still sure. going to attract that. It's still going to like because that's what you've been known for doing oh. for the past couple years. So they like if you see when name, you hear your. When, if, when you hear your real name, you automatically turn around. If they was calling me pork chop, I'd be like, "Let's go, them some fans." <laughs> <laughs> you still gonna turn around, Jamie? You still gonna you, Jamie? You know, good and damn well, you still gonna greet your fans. So it don't even matter why you put like you know you don't still greet your fans. <laughs> but you, but you know that it's someone who doesn't like. Not necessarily, Heidi, because Wikipedia, because of IMDb. Because of Google, all somebody gotta do is type in the red hair, and then they find out how did he's lit. They be like, "Oh, that's her name." It's Lil, du Lil Duval. Oh yeah, that's a great one. I don't Duval. know his real name at all. So we got three. I don't Rollins. know his real name. He a real nigga. I don't know his real his name, name either. <laughs> his name is Roland. Uh, Roland something. Yeah. Roland Powell. Because he went Powell. by. Yeah, he went by. He would go back and forth, and then he just stuck with Lil Duval at some point in time between. Uh, social media and you know stuff just taking off. But he was going by Roland. He went Lil Duval for a while. Then he went Roland Powell for a while. Then he went back to Lil Duval. Shut up. Uh, wow! Shut up, Charles. Get out of these comments, Charles. Here's here's the thing. I had this friend that uh that I knew that he had got on this TV show, and he was like, "Man, listen, I need to put my name on here." So that way I won't be annoyed by people calling me Dynamite Man all the time. His name is Will Smith, but it's like so he the Will asked for the character name to be Will. He was like, at least people won't be shouting random names at me all the time. So you could act like you ain't pork chop, but you would just some you think Kamir's bad? Imagine niggas screaming at you pork chop for the rest of your life. You kill it. You didn't. You you hosted the Grammys, and now everywhere you go, you you eighty nine. They go pork chop. That would get yeah. It no, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. Not to use that name, like for real. Right. Like, but that's what I'm saying is I think it's two different conversations. Like a a comedic stage name versus a stage name that sounds like a name. Oh yeah. oh, Samora got one too. Samora, that ain't her name. That's not. That bitch name is Samora. Yes. No, it ain't. My nigga's Camille. No, her mama named her some more. Yeah. It's some more. <laughs> uh, Lawson, I would never know. name my daughter some more. Like, come on. I mean, I'm like, like, not like, like, I didn't know that that was her name for real, for real. Yeah. Wait, is some more that's sister little, Mia Long? A, that can't be no, her name. Her yes. Name is, the more <laughs> name is Laurieann Rambo or something. Yeah, because no, you thank you. Like, Thank you. I knew her name oh, wasn't really? no damn some more. Yeah. Lori Ann Rambo? Yeah. Lori yeah. Ann Ram Rambo yeah. or Rambo. She's it's literally that. Sister it's... Or, step or stepsister. Yeah, Lori. Her Lord. last name is No, Rambo? they got the same Rambo. daddy. Yo. Uh, yeah, Different mamas. She should have went by Rambo. No. It yeah, would have been fire on say, coming to the stage. Nah, but tell Rambo. Me. And then she it's, comes up. What's up, motherfuckers? It's spelled R-A-M-B-O-U-G-H. It don't even matter though. The sound. Oh, of it's, it's 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 uh, Louisiana. It's like French like sour though. The sound of it though, <laughs> Rambo. What would you, you cooking up over there, Tony? Huh? What was you whipping up? What's that? A smoothie. I was gonna say it looked like something to make you boo boo. It is. No, I don't Tony really making me boo boo like that. What you mean you don't boo boo like that, nigga? Everybody. No, I, think, I said this don't make me boo boo like that. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I boo boo like that, but this don't make me boo. -boo. <laughs> yeah, did you tell him about the the tag you used to do? When when Tahir used to leave the stage when he first started, he'd be like, "Come on, y'all, listen, cause you, I know you wanna to hear more." He used to make the crowd say that every time you leave the stage. You ain't gonna never mind. Right, did, I, Tahir, you, Tahir? did you do that to hear? <laughs> I know you want. To hear more, yeah, Come exactly. Right then. Yeah, and here, then, you didn't do that. Yes, bye, he bye. did. He was proud of that job to hear more. He thought that bye, was bye, genius. I know you didn't do that, Bob. Bob, you did uh, not do that, Bob. Bob, that's what we bye, doing. Bye. BT, you didn't do that. BT, okay. So before BT started taking comedy serious, BT used to be a male dancer. Come back on here, BT. Don't put the camera on. Tell him how you be used to be a male dancer. BT used to dance with those light up shoes. <laughs> and he had on some he had on some neon leggings and just a hot <laughs> sock. Uh, man, I remember them light up shoes. Yeah, them light up, light up shoes. Up shoes. 
Yeah, that happened. I remember when I first seen you in them, I was like, these niggas is different. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, when I tell you so many niggas didn't fuck with me because of the shoes, I was like, <laughs> we had the line of shoes on tough, the Billy Jeans. Them <laughs> shoes were. All right. Kevin, Kevin is claymation right now. Kevin driving home for forty minutes. No, no. Kevin is balling. Kevin is not driving home. This nigga got car service or something because he is operating too well. Oh, he's with a phone and to be driving. He definitely not driving. But yeah, he not driving. BT, don't. <laughs> BT brought the light up shoes out, and I went to Clay, and I was like, "Hey, man, is BT okay? Is he on? <laughs> is he doing all right? Is everything all right at home? Like, I don't know what's going on. Why he wear? Because at the time, BT was already wearing two watches. He was wearing two watches, right. and he had on. Sometimes he would wear, he would double up on the scarf. He had a scarf on his head and another scarf around his shoulders. And then he came in with the light-up shoes. I had to ask somebody. PC, why do you got so many items, man? <laughs> like country nigga from Houston. You know they ain't got no damn sense. What style? Oh, I, I didn't know that about Houston. <laughs> what if everybody from Houston you knew had just extra items at all times? They had two phones, two watches, two <laughs> pairs of glasses, two hats, two pairs of pants on, a lion. Light up shoes, a skateboard, a hoverboard, <laughs> skates, rollerblade, and just traditional skates on simultaneously over the light up shoes, a hang glider, <laughs> a crop duster, a regular jet plane. A oh my plane. god! No, I was trying to figure out where did he get the light up shoes in his size. I thought they was only kids. I know, Kamira. They had a key. You literally had to turn the light on like an ignition. Oh my god! Oh my god! If I was his girlfriend, I'd have hit that key. Remember, it looked like this. It literally he would have put it. He would put it on the stool and he turned it. Oh hell like, no! <laughs> hey, hey, why was you doing this? Come here. You want no? Come here. What? You want no secret? What? I absolutely fucked in them shoes before, nigga. <laughs> you have to. That shit was lit, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Talking about it was lit. Oh, everything, dude. I was like, this is going to be interesting as fuck. What's your shirt say, Kamara? I am not. I saw. Oh, um, it says, I am not repeating myself again, said every mom. Okay. My uh, my little cousins be making little shirts and shit. I be, you know, supporting their dreams. You know what I'm saying? So. Hey. I, I feel like that's, the, that's one of the dopest things about like what we do is when you see kids with dreams, you automatically are supportive. Like you, you automatically like be like, yeah, you can do it. <laughs> Cause if Unless you, it's your kid, then you be like, what you want me to buy? No, nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. No, but <laughs> uh, ne my no, that's real shit though. Yeah, my nephew was uh he be watching all this stuff on like YouTube and stuff and he get excited and I was like, You wanna see how the edit video? Like, man, yeah. <laughs> and I was so like simple. Oh man, they they catch to it super fast. I was like, oh man, he might he might kept on to this and then he put the phone down when did something else. I was like, he don't give a damn. He not, <laughs> he not, he not committed. He, <laughs> he don't really want this. Yeah, you gotta be consistent, bro. But BT, why was you doing all that? <laughs> Back to the horse. <laughs> Tony came back to it. <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't answer it. Y'all was just bullshit. And I was like, nah, man. I want to know why he had all these accessories. <laughs> BT had a loadout for every night. <laughs> <laughs> the every every situation was a little different. The shoes specifically, I was walking through some mall and I saw them. And they were, they were, they, but the, the glow, they wasn't on full charge. So the glow was like, no, it was like a, like a, just like a, like a, like a hint. I was like, oh, the, I was, and I decided like, yeah, I'm doing this. And then right then I was like, yeah, those are, those are bought. So I went and bought them. They was, they were Vlados. They were Vlados. It was like this new thing that they were trying. And I like, I like Vlados in general. So I like Vlados and Supers are like some of my favorite shoes. So I went, I got them. And then I got them to the house and I charged them. 
And when you when they charge, they be your shoes. You have to charge them. Yeah. Cool. They were the LA they, they were the was like $170. That's neither there. Look, so they were $170? Yeah, and I have hella pairs. I, every time they dropped a new pair, I would go and get them. The light up shoes. Wait, the, the light up shoes are $170. Yes. Yes. So so when but I was they were rechargeable. <laughs> they were rechargeable. They come a little charger, they come in a nice little box. So um, and you and, and I'm I'm consistently, especially with tennis shoes, I will consistently go the opposite direction because ain't nobody spill no coffee on my shit. So like, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never bought a pair of Jordans in my life, but I got big baller brand shoes. I had light up shoes. I'll go obscure on the on the tennis shoe tip. You bought the Lonzo balls, the first ones? No, I got the Mellows. I got the Lamello cotton candies. Um, and I they super comfortable. One of the best decisions I've ever made. I'm very happy about it. How much was it? Because when everybody see them, they be like, yo, what are those? Those are amazing. And I show them, they're like, oh, if they don't like the LeVar, they get mad. Oh. But when I charged them shoes, Tony, they were so loud, bro. They were like, I was like oh, man. <laughs> well, I would have to figure out, I would have to figure out, like, timing. I was like, okay, I charge the shoes, take them off the charger, and then I got to cut them on at, like, seven. Because I'm going to leave the house about 10. And I, if I leave the house now, they just, they bright, bro. They was bright, bright. Did they have a volume button on them? No. And those those it, shoes were made literally just to kill vampires. <laughs> That's it. You go, you put them on, you kick vampires in the face, you, you kill them dead, okay? That was this it. is what I got sad. At the bottom of the shoe, they would get like, like the a couple of the LEDs would go out, and then they'd just be like, I'm like, oh, man, it's like it's like a little spots missing in my lights, bro. I was like. They not fully. It's like little holes in the lights. I was like, this ain't this ain't a good look. I got to do something about this. That's how you oh know it's time to go home when your shoe when your shoes die. Yeah, <laughs> party's over. Yo, BT had one shoe on, one shoe off. Like, oh man, to do his car. It was like the like, party be like this, man. I'd be like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but man, I I hey, hey, stop wearing them. Is you know who I'm talking to you over there. <laughs> I started seeing other people in them, and I was like, "All right, no, nah, I ain't." Oh, for real? Gary Owens wore them on TV, and Nick Cannon wore them on TV, and I was like, "I'm done." Oh, okay. When yeah. I was the only person that felt it was it was fun, but I went to a club and somebody else had them on. I felt really stupid. I was like, "Oh, well, this is <laughs> <laughs> y'all was matching." Yeah, he was in- seventy though. <laughs> oh, here's the stupid part. I felt like he was lame. I was like, mm, "I don't like this man." Corny ass nigga with these lights on his hey, shoes. Tony, Tony, what's the most you ever paid for some kicks? Because your 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 170 face was up and disapproved. I'm only I'm only judging the 170 because they was lighter. Yeah, yeah. Me personally, the most I've ever <laughs> paid for shoes is 400 Wow. Yeah. For, for, both, for both shoes or how'd they sell them to you? <laughs> it, was, it was. I wish it was three pair, but it was. It was one pair of Jordans. It was the Okras. Mm. Mm. Most I've ever paid for some. Are we talking tennis shoes? Is five hundred for dress shoes? Is is eight hundred dress shoes? I refuse to go over thirty dollars. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't respect the dress shoes. I somebody got me a dress. I'll be in Payless tough for the dress yeah. shoes. I mean, no, Tony, no. Though, no, it would be the sexiest one on the men. You, you, you don't know wrong. the difference. I don't know the difference in dress shoes. You would have said, these, these are, these are some Prada, a towel. But no, but you could tell the leather though. The leather yeah, be better. Get all, get all, you all, you all in my feet. That's like, yo, get all up my feet. I'm, Lance, I'm going to tell you the kicker. I think I, they, the shoes are so much, I don't think I ever throw them out. I can't wear them no more, but I think they're in my closet like right now. Go the get them. We're going to get them. Are they charged? Don't go get them. We're going to close out. We're going to close out. Oh, hold on. Done. Let them grab the shoes. Well, first of all. Uh, <laughs> Love the way he acting like he still don't wear them, nigga. He knows Here. exactly where them shoes are. <laughs> right. Here. Listen, nobody would ever put it out there like I might know where they at and take that right. risk. Not where right. where they at. <laughs> Here, what's the most you dropped on some shoes? Let's not talk about it. No, we 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 talking about it. Oh, so he probably paid. Oh, Kev, twenty five hundred. Twenty five. You think he's he here? Hey, what? 
Hey man. No, because I bought I bought some um Christian Louis Vuittons and they was like twelve hundred. They was a tennis shoe. Oh, hey. right. What? Uh-huh. what? Uh-huh. I got because they red they red bottoms. They red bottoms. They, they got the spikes on the top. If they was burgundy bottoms. Twelve hundred. <laughs> yeah, Tony. Huh? But see, wait, wait. Ask but Kev, I'm a good girlfriend. No, no, because I be buying my nigga cologne and it's a thousand dollars. Like wait, so. Wait, wait. Are you buying? Not, not Clyde Christian. Wait. Clyde Christian. A thousand dollars. Oh yeah. Tommy, tell Tommy. Three. All those cologne. So good. Why is cologne a thousand dollars? No, nothing uh, smell that guys, good. I know nothing about fashion or anything like this. This is all just like breaks my brain, and I don't know how I, to enter it I back. I better smell like Jesus. Whatever. Okay, Tony, Tony, it's this perfume out that I'm finna get. It's called Bitter Peach, and it's by Tom Ford. It's three hundred and fifty dollars a bottle, but it's worth it. Like if you not- bought Sabrina some Bitter Peach, that shit is. It's well, amazing. I do feel like three hundred and fifty dollars worth of like I don't know nothing about nothing, but I do. But that's the real like, big scent. Wow. Scent is quality, like yeah. yes, like. Yeah. But it, it better last though for that price. It better exactly. stay on me through several showers. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it, can, it can't. It can't fade out by the time I get to the grocery store. <laughs> Man, you can't need to smell like that on one spritz. Well, the, thing with sneakers, the, sne- the thing with sneakers is like if you could spend a lot of money on sneakers but if you walk into the streets they gonna have marks on them but if you have cologne those streets ain't gonna hit you it's gonna stay my, my shoes are perfect outside of this fucking coffee oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the same thing bt put that ugly those ass are, shoe down are those look <laughs> Nah, those, those, are are De- those are DeAndre Jordan. Those are team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at the bill right now. I paid four hundred and thirty-four dollars for some shoes, and that's my record. That's your what to hear. You didn't give us a number. Expensive. Kev just got here. Kev, so yeah, what's the most you dropped on some shoes? <laughs> Tell them about. We the always got to do this, man. Kev, Why we always got to off white? Oh, wait, I never, I've never asked you this question. I'm sorry if I missed out on a. No, it ain't you, Lance. It's to hear. It's. <laughs> to hear always bringing up old stuff. Yeah, because he a shoe freak. <laughs> what what you what you did to him? A pretty, a pretty penny too. Oh, okay, that's not bad. It was. Deep. I spent. If you must know, to hear, I spent fifteen hundred on the bread Yeezys. Oh, uh, the bread Yeezys. Okay. The that's bread Yeezys. When before <laughs> before Kanye said slavery was a choice, we still loved him. I got the bread Yeezys, the originals, and they oh, were the, the, the Nikes. You got the Red Octobers? No, no, no. The bread oh. Yeezy, Adidas. Oh, okay. The Red Octobers are are fifteen thousand. That's what I was about to say. What? Man. Yeah. Red Octobers are fifteen thousand. The Marty mm-hmm. McFlies are fifteen thousand. Yeah. Um, oh, that's crazy. Marty McFlies, I get. Those are the Marty M&M. McFlies are are amazing, but they look super uncomfortable. I don't. I don't like. I don't even like them. <laughs> Eminem, um, Eminem got the fours. I think they're ten thousand too. Eminem, hey, Eminem Carhartt collaboration. Those are like yeah. uh, ten thousand too. Yeah, you, like th- you mean ten thousand dollars? Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, here, what's the number? Kev. Kev got me beat. Kev on stage. The, 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 Marty, the Marty McFly's got lights on them, don't they? <laughs> they do. Dude, they're, they're self, they're self lacing, BT. I so that, that was a real thing. That, that's worth that's the a price. real thing. Oh yeah, they they need to have that for fifteen G's. Then I ain't got to tie my tennis shoes. That's, that's, that's actually, worth hold it. on. Let me let me show you how this. Let me show you how this real quick. Hold on. Look, these are the Eminem Retro Force for thirty four thousand and seventy seven dollars on stock. Are, 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 are they the are they the blue ones or the black? Ones? The blue. Those are the blue ones. That's that's what thirty four thousand. Thirty four thousand. Hey, Eminem had a Jordan collab. I was yeah. just gonna say I didn't even know Eminem. You know I should know this. That's white culture. Yeah. <laughs> the black the black ones are seventeen thousand. Seventeen thousand for the black joints. They're Wait. for twenty dollars on StockX to the left. Two two over. They're twenty dollars. Oh, and these are all old shoes, right? These ain't new shoes. Yo, yeah, why they why they twenty dollars right these? here? What's going on? Oh, right that's here? a trick. That's a trick. I guarantee that it's probably a typo. It must, they must have been twenty thousand. If it hack your, your computer, oh, you gotta buy. You gotta.
Maybe the ticket. That's a baby turtle. They're like a kid shoe. Oh. Oh no. It's the it says head. in the hat. No, I'm not I'm not I'm not going for that. That's a trick. Yeah. You think you got the M&Ms, you're going to get the uh Machine you Gun Kelly's for twenty dollars. You go get the peanut M and M's. Right. Wait a minute. So, like M and M's. Wait, I got a question. Them the Astro so, Rocks. You go get them. If I were to buy those thirty four thousand dollars shoes and you get them and you find out they fake, do then people go to like? Is that a crime? Right. Good question. No, <laughs> no if it's not the right they'll, one. It's like, for sure. They'll give you your money back. Yeah. I thought. I thought thirty four thousand dollars. He just won you a bag. Go. Yeah, that's why I go through go too. That's why I go through go. I go through go yeah. as well. I yeah, because um, at first I was like, uh, I was expecting them making sure, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't even know yeah. tennis shoes. I would be having on the fake ones, thinking I was fly as fuck. Like sure. I wouldn't even be able to. Like, how would I know? Like, put that down. You can get them for thirty dollars, bitch. What's that? Eight fifty when I bought them. You did not take the big bar brand. Those are eight fifty. Why didn't you put shoe trees in there? Like I'm talking about those hard bottoms. These shoes are hella old. I haven't worn shoes. Oh my god! No, they're a bottom to them. I haven't I haven't worn these shoes in at least eight to nine years. Why do you still have them? Because they were fifty. I ain't throwing nothing away for eight fifty. Somebody can use them. Nobody can yeah. use those. They they touch the ground. Those are. They look like an exhibit. It looked like did some. You, did you walk the Selma with those on? <laughs> those are like. Flint That's what it looked like. <laughs> if I put my foot in it, it don't even look that bad. No, those, are the they do. PC, those shoes look like they came with. I hate the those shoes to hear. Huh? I hate those shoes. Is that how I much? I love you them. Them? They are so comfortable. I love them. I you paid that much for that. I have them. I got a couple of those, yeah. Oh my God. You pay so here's a shoe free. The next one's just coming out. Yo, I just got these while we talking about shoes. Hold on, let me show you what just came in. Wait, to here. You you bought two pairs oh, that's... of shoes at that price? No, no, no. <laughs> Three. You did, didn't you? No. No, uh, I didn't know. Nah. You did. You why, never you not? why you in his pocket, Tony? You lying. Because he be lying, man. I don't like lying. I don't be lying, Tony. What are you talking you about? You lying to here. That's all you do. Hey, what's yeah. happening right he, here? No, I you don't. Was the best, well, you was the best one in the lying game. When we did the lying game, nigga. No, we didn't know nobody lying knew you was lying. like it's nothing. What are y'all talking? Where is this coming from? Huh? I'm a liar to you. Y'all just y'all just like like calling people names. Oh, oh, you got the you got, oh, you got the off whites. I feel Wait, like open it up, Ken. Let, let me see your Michael, let me see your Michael Jordan shoes. I hate you. I I hate you. Pull it out. Oh, Let's see. Kev, Kev living his best I life. I hate Kev. 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 How much? Oh, you right? They were the, uh they were seven fifty. Okay. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get in the Maserati and wear them and play future. It's gonna change your life. <laughs> March Madness. Yo, is that future's best song? March Madness. Yeah, <laughs> by far, Tony Baker. Yeah, yeah, easy. by far. Yeah, that's probably the. I only remember the I first thing I heard of Future. I the first Future song I heard was with Rihanna, L-O-V-E, Love. I was like, this is the worst music I have ever heard in my life. He be ruining life. tracks. He be ruining I hated tracks. him for so long. I hated him into the March Madness. I thought that was, I thought that song was like a parody. Yeah. Okay, so you ain't listening to him. No, Kev, see, you was listening to him joint. in your other car. If you listen to him in the Maserati with your J's on, you gonna feel different, my nigga. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> That's the problem, Kamir. You can't drop. <laughs> you can laugh like a Disney villain right now. <laughs> what did it for me is when he did the la di da di da. I was like, uh, oh, no. oh my god! No to fun. hear, I will to never hear. forgive him from that. To hear, I want yeah. to say something. I was enjoying that album so much. <laughs> it's still. He's, I mean, Jay, even that song, Kendrick, and then J-Rock, I was like, this is great, right? I didn't check who was featured. 
<laughs> when Future jumped on, I was like, man, turn it off. Turn it off. Let it let it go. Oh, to hear. <laughs> but you know what? I read something because I, I gave Future so much shit about that. I read something that said he put that in there for like the course or ad libs. He didn't intend for that to be left on the verse. But he said, he's like, when he heard it, he was like, oh shit, they, they must have liked it and they left it there. But he's like, he didn't want that to be left on the verse. He was just doing that for the ad libs. Why, no, why do that? Why record that at all and send it to another <laughs> he person? Lying. He said that just the same face. He knew that he was like, he thought it was hot when he did so, and, and future And Future don't write. Future, they go in the studio and they, and they catch melodies. And when they catch a melody, they just go with that melody. Oh, what so melody? we were just doing that as a placeholder and they kept it? Yep, what that's what how melody he is that? Melody. He, he what, catches what, melody. What melody is la di da di da I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm just telling you his process. Y'all ain't been to the club, lady. la di da di da go off in the club, tell you. <laughs> right. How much of those to hear? Not that much. <laughs> I don't like those. I don't like, like Air Force Wallace. ones like that. I'd be wanting to, but remember I bought those Air Force ones in that little secret place? Oh, uh, which one? Uh, in Boston, Tom? In, in Boston. I bought them. I only wore those twice and then gave them away. You should have You got to get the Air Force ones a size smaller so you can control that crease in the front. Mm -hmm. Or get force fields. You put force fields inside the shoe and they prevent it from creasing. Yeah. Oh, I, this is I just don't much. like putting extra stuff in my shoes. It's just. You put that knees and it'll fix it. <laughs> DC, I'm gonna need you to throw those. All right, let's go ahead and wrap it up, man. Let's go ahead and wrap it up, bro. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. There we go. No. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go uh Dominique and then we'll go uh Heidi and then we'll go Lance and then we'll go BT, Kamira, uh, Tony, and Kev. All right, guys. What are we doing? The signing off. So oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> St. Angela's Candles. It's a lifestyle. I'm selling luxury, bitches. Um, sorry. Don't, you can't monetize this. Anyway, so the link is in the bio on my page, St. Angela's. And I also started Whiskey Soured. Libations and Conversations, episodes who just dropped today with uh, our boy Fu. Get in. Or get the hell on. Okay. That is all. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go. Uh, <laughs> that next, uh, let's go, Heidi. Lance. Lance then Heidi. Yo, um, first off, always a pleasure coming on here. Shout out to to hear the more mob, more mods. All of y'all always showing love. Shout out to um, uh, Lorinda, Adrian, Kiera, uh, Salissa, and LeBaron. Always showing love. Uh, make sure y'all get y'all ticket. Keep your distance comedy tomorrow. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> OK, go ahead, Heidi. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, I'd be flipping back and forth between being in front and being funny and working behind the scenes. And I have been behind the scenes. So if you're looking for me on the internet, you're not going to find me much unless you buy a ticket to keep your distance comedy. <laughs> this is uh, exclusive content tomorrow. I've been uh, off the scenes, uh, unless it's for Kev or Tahir. So um, basically, I don't know. Stay close to your fans and, and fans, your friends and family. I'm out here, but not really out here. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go, uh, BT. Uh, I would like to point out that I fixed my light and it didn't work, so never again. <laughs> nope, no more, no more of that for you. Um, you guys, most importantly, tomorrow go get your tickets for uh, Keep Your Distance uh, Comedy Show. Uh, we are doing our damnedest to change a lot of things happening. And I appreciate my brother Kevin on stage, and I appreciate my dog to hear more. Uh, if you didn't know, I'll say it again: ESPN went live today. For uh, with the NBA, and they had 500 people in there. I'm just saying, put some respect on hey, it. Really, yeah, 500 people in they live. I'm just saying, they need to put some respect on it. Uh, yeah, I've, I've seen I've seen it, I've seen others go live, and it's Damn. not zooming with the homies. So, we appreciate the uh, the hell out of y'all to hear you know, I love you, bro. Um, most importantly, my Discord, we're doing uh, we do binges 
in there right now. We're uh, bringing Breaking Bad from the top. So join the Discord and oh. follow me on YouTube. I have hard goals to. I'm trying to hit 10,000 40 years out, and I'm at 89. 8907. So I'm gonna keep pushing more content coming, and you know, that's it, man. It's your boy Kingsley. Hey, oh, BT, one sec. I rewatched Breaking Bad for the don't third tell time. Them, don't tell them, the th- don't tell them. I'm not saying nothing. I'm saying I rewatched it for the third time as an adult, or not as an adult, but like with different perspective, like some years later. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe Walt was tripping sometimes. <laughs> he, was. <laughs> he was big tripping. Wait, no, he I, was not, Tony. He was a he was a gangbanger. Hey, when I first seen it, Walt could do no wrong. Second time I seen it, I was like, oh, maybe. When nah, I Lance, you're wrong, man. Walt was he was he was power hungry. <laughs> and that's the issue. That's why I was, watched it a few months ago. Like, you know what? Maybe he could have done things a little different. Everybody in my Discord, COVID is like this. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so uh, follow me on everything. Uh, uh, Kings of the Crew, you know I love y'all. Kings and Queens of the Kings of the Crew. All right. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> Are we- Tell them what you got going on. Yeah, watch this. Kings and Queens of the what? And then watch watch the, watch the chat. Oh, wait. Can y'all still look? I'll be fucking up. You don't know if I can't see it. Okay, here I go. Hey, everybody. <laughs> it's Kamara White. Um... So, you know, I have Oni's Host podcast and it's on All Death. And of course, I'm going to be on uh, Kev's show tomorrow, Social Distance Comedy Show. I am so honored. I bought a prom dress. Um, I got a <laughs> massage. And <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to turn up. Um, and yeah, keep supporting us. Keep supporting uh, Kev and to hear us and me and all of us because we out here trying to get it. That is, that is. Uh, Tony Baker. Um, sick of you. Baker, <laughs> Baker, bakery four shirts drop uh, tomorrow night. Uh, if you're a patron already, you can get the shirt now uh, with a discount. Uh, don't forget to check out Daddy Issues. You can go to my YouTube and check out the latest episode on that. Uh, uh, Tony Baker and Friends is available now. Click the link in my bio on my Instagram and get it. I'll prefer if y'all get it from Gump Road because Amazon be bullshitting. But if you get it from Amazon, that's cool too. I appreciate it as well. Um, you know, as we mentioned before, keep your distance comedy tomorrow. We know we know y'all like to get the tickets last minute, but we appreciate y'all pulling out. Check us out. I will be uh, improv again. I know a couple of y'all was complaining about it, but it is what it is. So I'll be doing that once again. And uh, pull up on us. Who was complaining way. about it, Tom? This <laughs> people, people with YouTube comment. They was like, man, I like the freestyle and all, but I want to see a, like an actual set. And then I had to get like them. five sets already, man. Nah, do I had to tell exactly. them why I do that. What the fuck you want to do? I had to tell them why I do that, though, so they can understand that I can't be doing a full written set two times a month, you know. So I think they got it. But yeah, yeah. as long as it's funny, man, you know, that's all it can. <coughs> and that- here, stop giving him dumb names. Tom, Tom, what should we recommend? What makes it for you to be able to go off? We don't know what to recommend. Wait, what happened? We don't know what to tell you to, to go off on. Everything you say to hear, to hear says dumb stuff. Drake. Oh, you talking about uh, to hear his little suggestions? Yeah, Santa I don't really make a good suggestion besides animals. No, to uh, to hear actually had a good one after he fumbled with uh, Santa Carita, he switched it to something. <laughs> mummies, I switched it mummies, to mummies, mummies, mummies. Actually, was hidden. I like that joke. And so, right. and then you know, Pat came through with the orcas on their first one. That was a dope one. So, what y'all seeing me do is build new. Set list material. Yeah, y'all are just course. y'all are just seeing the seed of it, and then I can I can build on it later. And then when it's another special, y'all can be like, I remember when that joke was fresh. <laughs> Tony, you ain't gotta explain to them. You I don't. Like to, to, I like to give them perspective, fuck. so they won't be saying shit to other comedians later on down the line. Sometimes people need to know. Good job, Tony. Tell them. Yeah, because then because then they'll keep saying you know shit they shouldn't say if they don't correct. Them. Um, I got I got a couple of dollars. Up, nigga. Huh? Uh, well, I got a couple extra dollars, not all the dollars, but if somebody can't afford tickets tomorrow, it's a really good lineup. Not me, a lot of other people. 
So if people need a couple of tickets, hit me up in my DMs and I'll try to, I don't know how it works, but I'll try to buy a couple of tickets tomorrow for the show. So let me know. Wow. That's nice. That's dope. That's really I would nice. do that too, but I'm black, so I can't. Um, <laughs> I have I have a couple extra dollars this week. I'm not. Uh, listen, if a hundred of y'all, I'm just playing. I do not have a hundred tickets. I'm just saying, if somebody <laughs> can laugh this week, hit me up. I'll buy a couple tickets. I don't know how I don't know how it'll work, Kev, but I'm sure we can figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Just oh, give it I'll, to me. I'll make sure they get it. Okay, I cool. forgot to tell you. I make sure y'all follow me. Um, at Tahir's house because that's what. The, Fuck, I'm going <laughs> to get the shoe cleaner to get this coffee off of my Michael Jordan shoes. <laughs> you still said it's full I, I I stepped in dog shit in my Louboutins, if that makes you feel better. <laughs> it doesn't. I was at the fucking the fucking Grove, man. Fucking Grove. You should wear some and long pants. You should cover, you cover the... Boot cuts. Okay. I should wear some Michael Jordan jeans too. Go ahead, Kev. Go ahead, so you can go ahead and go to bed. Kev look like uh, to here tonight with a jacket on at the house. You keep going. <laughs> hey, man, it's me, Kevin. Hello. Uh, <laughs> keep your distance, comedy, man. I want y'all to buy a ticket for two reasons. One, to support new young comedians. These are our best and the brightest. Yes. Uh, everybody's amazing. You should follow them. You should know that most of them are reluctant to even use so social media. They're just doing it because it's the only way to get their stand up out there. Two, we're building an app that the money from Keep Your Distance goes towards to fund shows, movies, um, web series, short films, all that stuff, pay black creators, men and women uh, to be able to create. So it's not just for you know, me to get rich or any people to get rich, it's going right back into content. Uh, me and Tone to hear Angel shot a show a couple of weeks ago. We're shooting another one on Wednesday. Yo, can yeah. we drop it early, Cam, man? I'm excited. Nah, Tone, we right. can't. Right. Right. <laughs> because the only way we're gonna compete with Netflix is that we have hot fire a couple times a week. We cannot compete with Netflix on no billion dollars of content. Trust me, Tone, I want to let it go early. I really want to let it go. That's <laughs> can, we, can we drop a trailer tonight? Nah, man, I'd be, I be doggone. I'd be like, come on, man, let me just let them get three minutes. Just so man, they can just, you know, a couple pumps, just, just two pumps. Okay. Yeah, so we are, <laughs> the goal is to be able to fund content for black creators who've been largely over. There's no reason the people on this thing have not broken through to Hollywood. I, and it pisses me off. It pisses me off. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> These people are funny and should be in movies and TV shows. And if I, if I don't do nothing else with my life, I'm going to push my people forward. And that's yeah. what the, the tickets go for. And that's what the app is for. It ain't just for me to get rich. Um, I'm already doing okay. It's for my people to, to be <laughs> blowing up. And then I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to let you go. When Hollywood sees what we're doing, then they'll be like, oh, well, Tony Baker to here, BT, Kamira, Dominique, Lance, let me do it. Why didn't y'all? We we've been trying. We've been knocking on the dog on door. So what you got to do is turn your back on them and walk away. And then when they feel like you don't need them, then they're going to be like, what? what? You should have. And then it'll be like, and now you have the power. Right now, they got all the power and the leverage. When you don't need them, you have shown that you have the power and the leverage and the deal better make sense. Are we good over here? And yeah. that's what we're trying to build. Ownership. And y'all know I'm petty. So I, you know, once I once I say F them, it's F them forever. Yo, wait, listen yo. to here. I got a long list of people who done oh. passed on me. Hey, hey tell me. Text me their no. name so I can add them to my list too. Yo, send me yeah, the names, man. First of all, they let me in and then kicked me out. So I got a whole list too. <laughs> no, Kev, when you made the video talking about the app and you had the meeting, the conversation, the pitch, and you was like, a white man was telling me what black people will and won't understand. Listen, when I tell you in my soul, <laughs> look, look, man, and, and I this is this is me pitching my special. And some of the conversations you get back, and you say, "Yo, who, who, the, who, who are you talking to?" Bruh, let me tell you what I don't care about. Who you think this is for? Because it ain't. I promise you, it ain't for them. It's for us. 
Oh I don't need God. them to like it. I don't need them to approve it. I don't need you to approve it. It ain't for you. It ain't for them. Yeah, and, that's that Tyler Perry right there. That's, and that's black people in general. Then they be like, what, you, what dance is you? We want to do this shoot. Nah, man, now we don't want to do it no more. Leave our stuff alone. <laughs> look, look, man. <laughs> In the in the process of trying to do Gibby Five, they I was told it should be a, a clearly a forty five minute show. You should make it five minutes and make sure and then go pitch to Quibi. Mm. <laughs> he would have owned it, and I would never have been able to do nothing with it. Man, I mean, I've been in rooms and have advocated for multiple people on this Zoom, and was told. So many things that no, don't know if I'm allowed to say. Listen, Heidi, we done. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> I am, I am done Same. with that. Same. I'm afraid, I'm a, to hear, I ain't gonna hold you Same. up. I promise you. Let me just say this one thing. <laughs> the Webbies, the Webbies hit me up like you should submit this and that for the Webbies, and you gotta pay seven hundred and fifty dollars. I just flip people off too. I'm I'm about what? It. Per, like, what? per submission. Per, one of my people are even going to care if I won a Webby. They wouldn't even know what a Webby was. Yo, yeah. Yeah. Aside aside from that, hold on. Aside from that, oh. all death was getting people to vote for us on the Webbies in 2017. Yep. We had the most view, I mean, most votes. And this, um, I, f well, I forgot what the um, award was for. On the technicality, they gave it to this other white company because they because we were us, we were all deaf, and that right there was like the biggest wake up call because you know we working on all deaf, we got crazy fans, we got the best supportive, su su most supportive fans too, and the numbers speak for themselves. But when it came down to it, all they saw us was as a as a black company. A That's whole bunch of black that people that them. nobody, and we we had won that by numbers by like. 20 or 30,000 and it was a it was a voting thing it was whoever supposed to whoever gets the most votes wins and they were like who is these niggas no yeah damn, damn. They, they gave it to matter of fact they gave it to James Corden what they gave oh. it to James <laughs> Corden karaoke was it car karaoke it was car, he had oh, like 3,000 no. votes we had like 25,000. Uh, I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. And, and I remember then, him winning. Yeah. And then what they try to do in that is they'll take one black person and separate them and elevate them and try to make him look down on us and us to look up to hopefully be that one selected black person. Bro, I'm good. I promise you, I, I, if I don't never book nothing or sell nothing or pitch nothing else, I, I'm good. I promise you. I am Same. totally fine. We don't have to play the game. That's why I'm so grateful for the internet. We don't gotta do we don't oh, even, yeah. we don't yeah. even people be like, what about your Netflix special, bro? When I found out some of them Netflix specials just paying like 10k or 7500 I was like, nigga, I'll sell it my for I could get that. Are you are you dumb? I, I didn't tell you the they're not gonna push you like here's the other thing people don't understand. You either get pushed by the marketing budget from Netflix or the algorithm. The algorithm push you. Or if you only get one of those two, then you're just telling people to go on Netflix and watch your special. And if that's the case, they might as well be buying it directly from you because you're never gonna see a dime once Netflix pays you out. And if they don't push you, Netflix dropped like 50 specials in one day. Nobody saw any of yeah. them. Because oh, yeah. they're not Dave Chappelle, Eddie Murphy, Kevin Hart. Uh, Amy Poehler, a lot uh, of these, Sam J. A, a lot of these reps Amy be Poehler. controlling the narrative too. So it's <laughs> like you be trying to have a conversation about things, and then reps be like, "Oh no, I don't believe in this person," and it doesn't matter if the people behind them, because some rep who has more pull, that's a whole other thing, though. Because, because uh, I mean, if you start talking like agency and that space, right? They're they're taking the notes from what the industry is telling them. And the reality is the industry don't know. They they are legit oblivious to what's hot and what's happening in real time. They just don't, they don't know, bro. They thought when they, when Quibi dropped, I said, they're about four years too late because the conversation of it should only be five minutes. That's it all people watch. I'm like, you guys, Zoom with the homies two hours and the people be here 
the whole time, having a good time. We having a good time. Stage, BT, they, if you want to watch short stuff, you want to watch a TikTok or a reel. If you want to watch a movie, then you want to watch a movie. You don't want to watch a movie broken up into 10 YouTube videos. That's just annoying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't <laughs> see that. So they, I was told, I was like, when I'm first pitching, I'm pitching and like packing and stuff. And they say, man, nobody wants to look at their computer for more than eight to 10 minutes. I said, listen, I was laying in my bed yesterday on Netflix and I had to roll over so I didn't get bed sores because I binge watched 24. The fuck? <laughs> no, you know what it you know what it is too? They don't have no reality because they rich. So they don't want to stare at their computer because they got big ass TVs. You know what, shit. Else, Kamira, like, well, here's the bottom line. Here's the bottom bottom line, Kamir, on top of what you said. They don't care about black stories or black creators or black people. Yeah. They just don't mm -hmm. think it's interesting. They don't care. They don't market to us. Like, I be saying this all the time. HBO did not market Game of Thrones to me. Why? Why would you think I don't want to watch? I mi I never missed an episode, ever. But, listen, but they don't yeah. care. That's And that's why. <laughs> Disney ESPN. This is their live chat today. 497. That's the ESPN. That's Don't ESPN. nobody care. BT. Go fast. Zooming with the homies was what three thousand a day plus. It's still at two point six right now. Wow. To hear. Listen, this is this is why this is why it's so important to support uh, stuff like Lovecraft though, because we I was talking about this. I think what I think Kev we talked about it without Farron as well. Like we grew up watching all of their stories. The James mm -hmm. Bond, the, the 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 Batman's, the every everything. It was always white story. We very rarely got to tell our side of the story. And so when we get those opportunities, we have to support it. We have to support Lovecraft. We have to support Kev. We have to support Lance and Special. We have to support uh Tony Baker and Friends. We have to support Dom with the uh Whiskey Sour podcast and with the candle line. We have to support Gimme Five. We have to support uh Dan Show, Funny Dan Show. No, and, you oh, don't. No, you don't. Oh, okay. Don't don't support how you go. <laughs> the man took it. But we got to support on these hoes, man. When we get a chance to tell our story, we get a chance to change the narrative, to control the narrative. We have to support it because if we don't, they're gonna say, "See, we told you the niggas didn't want to hear that." Right. And, and when you say, when and you all say, Hollywood. Re oh, my bad. Go ahead, Lance. No, when you when you say our story is important because all they sell is black trauma. They yeah, just want to sell black right. trauma and black dysfunction. Like so, when we when we come, we if, if if we come with a story, it's going to be like, like you know, black people. We have families and we smile and we dance and we cook. Like we live lot. Like everything is not the worst of the worst. Like listen, Lance, I'm gonna tell you right now. One thing you will not see on my app. I was supposed to go to college. I got shot in the back and then I turned into a slave in a time machine and my mama died and then she came alive. I don't know my, bro. <laughs> what if we, if we don't have, bro, sometimes we just be going to the cookouts and we be fathers and we be sad our kids are growing up. It don't always be all doom and gloom. That's, we that's, and that's, and that's what right. I was we was why. talking about the other day about Robert Townsend. Remember, he made good movies like like Meteor Man and like um yeah. even like was um it was uh -huh. like you know like yeah and you know, then we had uh we had The Last Dragon like we had movies that wasn't about poverty and like we had good black movies like, I don't know what happened to them but I remember growing up watching good black movies it was like I don't know when it changed but. Then it just went to all that sad, all that crazy shit. Like it's and, and that's that's why to this day, I probably still say coming to America is probably the greatest movie of all time. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. Well, power doesn't always exist. And again, I'm clearly I can't speak to every what everybody else is is saying, but uh, sometimes we think that power only exists in front of the camera. And what we all have to realize that like changing these narratives and these stories like they happen behind so we got to fight e equally to be like what kev is doing like what what every actually everybody on this call is doing is like controlling the own narrative like being the producers being the executives being the directors being the storytellers like because they gonna keep fucking up this in front of the camera narrative because yeah, because with that 
it's okay. I don't even care what y'all got going on. I'll just do my own thing. Like I'm, I'm not gonna argue with y'all about. No, I'm telling y'all I'm good enough. That's fine. I'll go do it over here. I, I would, I would rather sell. I would rather sell something to a hundred of my people, my product of what I want to do, than sell it to fifty thousand of yours. And I'm doing something that I don't, I don't, I don't respect. Bro, I want to say two things because I've been on this heavy for the last year. One, the Rudy Ray Moore, uh, the Dolomite story on Netflix was right? like, man, I was like, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> ah, bro, he gave it, he le- he slept in the hotel yeah. with no light. He plugged the thing up to the next door. I was like, I get that. Two, Master P did this for like five years. They were number one, basically doing this version. And number three, Coco Jones from Disney just came out and was basically like, Disney was like, they didn't know what to do with a black girl that was dark skinned. They knew what to do with light skinned black girls and knew what to do with white people, but they were trying to force her to be a white girl and not a black girl on Disney. And they controlled her everything. And she's 22, she, she's just starting to take control of her career. And the people here have decided we're not gonna play the game the same way that they designed it to be played. And, and for that, they're gonna come to us and ask us, how, how can we play with you? And that's when you get power and ownership and licensing and all that. And that's all I got to say. I love you guys so much. Thank you to here. Uh, uh, before, we, before we bounce, man, I want to make sure I hit this. Because uh, Heidi I hit the behind the scenes thing. One, shout out to everybody that's here on screen and the people that are in the chat that support uh, everybody here. Because it, uh, things are changing very fast. Because back, back in the day, we probably wanted to do it on our own. But... Film was expensive, and now we can shoot yeah. this. And you you might have it, but there wasn't nowhere to put it out. And then there's the internet, and the industry was moving a certain way even as of earlier this year. And then COVID, yeah. And it's like the game's changing slowly but surely. Things gonna be different, bro. Things gonna show up. I was so happy when I saw Travis Santiago. There. I was like, oh, Travis, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I tell you, BT, we are. We are literally just getting started, bro. We watch the next 18 months. 18 months. You watch me. You watch me. You watch the next 18. <laughs> you watch it. I'm sharing everything. There it is. <laughs> well, listen, a uh, couple quick things. Uh, we still got 2,600 people in here. I have BT Kingsley's uh, YouTube page pinned to the chat. All you have to do is click on that link, click subscribe, and then bring it, come on right back, and we're going to close this out. But it's up there for you guys to support my homie. Let's get him to that 10,000 mark, man. We can do this. We can do that right now. Yeah, we got 2,600 people here, man. We can get him literally within 500 people of that 10,000. Let's make that happen right now. If you you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to that. That's number one. That is tier BT? Man up! Number two. Number two. uh, I want to give a shout out to all the companies that support us. Popcorn World, Radio Intimate. Uh, Rhythm and Flames, thank God so much. If you're in the Patreon, you guys already know we got discounts from them. Um, uh, the mods, make sure that you guys stay up to uh, to date on all the discounts for all the companies. So uh, thank you so much for your support in that. Big shout out to the Scary Squad. Shout out to the More Mob. Shout out to the Rewatch Game, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. I see people subscribing. Thank y'all so much for subscribing. Thank y'all so much for subscribing. Whose computer is that? Tony Baker. <laughs> that sure was me. I don't think it's me. It might, I don't know who it is. Um, he just hit t- he just hit nine thousand subscribers. So let's let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We can get to that nine thousand five hundred. Um, yeah. next up. Um, before we get out, who's who is that shit? Who, who is it? It's Tony. It's Tony. <laughs> All right, so let's. Right, so yeah, it was Tony. It's... Yeah, it was Tony. Oh, uh, was it Tony? <laughs> testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. I want my apology. I'm sorry, Tony. I want my apology. I'm sorry, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> testing, testing, testing. It's Cam. Testing, testing, testing. It's Cam. Testing, testing, testing. testing. It was Camira. Oh, she must, have had, she must have had two, 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 two phones up or something like that. 
I was like, you know, it wasn't me, man. I, I, got, I feel like I was, I feel like the cops shined a flashlight on me. I was like, I, I didn't do it, man. <laughs> I just um, come to my family. <laughs> where do we go? Oh, tomorrow night, um, we have the Keep Your Distance comedy show. Um, it's going to be amazing. Make sure you subscribe. It's to Tony that. Baker last show of the year, man. Make sure you pull up and watch greatness. Yeah, Tony Baker's last show. And I promise y'all, man, for the people that were, that were asking about the whole freestyle thing, you know, I know you you, you don't understand because you, you just want a different set of jokes every week. But y'all got to understand, what you should try to understand is that no one is doing what Tony Baker is doing. Fearlessly going out there, throwing yourself to the to the to the deep end of the pool Bruh. and doing a 15 minute set unwritten to hear. improvised. It's it's un and here's the crazy thing. If Dave Chappelle did this, y'all would be like, oh, that's why he's the greatest ever. Dave Chappelle just said to you have a next comedy legend doing this right in front of you, and all you can do is criticize and complain. That's the shit that blows my mind. How how we tear each other down until somebody is uplifted to greatness, and then we want to highlight their skills. Do it now. Y'all know damn well Tony Baker is one of the best comedians you've ever seen in your, your damn life. Let He's me tell you one something of my favorite comedians, huh? I thought about doing that, and then I had an anxiety attack, and I had to lay I down. Could never. <laughs> I could never, only time I do that, and I do do that, the only time I do is when I'm hosting, when I know the pressure ain't on me because I know the, the lineup is going to do what they need to do. That's when I do it when I'm hosting, not as a close, he's closing out the show with this. That's and there's only he, like 15 people there. He don't even have a lot of words to choose from. He basically got to take the first word somebody says. Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm not listening to you crazy. Yeah. Santa Clarita. Go ahead, BT. You gotta, um, you gotta <laughs> unfollow yourself. I mean, unmute yourself. I got an idea, uh, and don't y'all don't have to answer now. Uh, I'll be there uh, tomorrow, Kev. Is there a way I can watch the show and maybe throw out suggestions that they're giving in real time? I thought about that from the audience. I told Tone to let the let the audience say it like I could set it up so that once you get up you could look at your phone that way you have way more stuff to choose from than the audience but right? then look at that get, word. Oh, get it because they're not there yeah I feel like people are not getting it and I think if you could see a word and then you see that you picked the word and you went out and did a joke and you get way more stuff to choose from you know the delay from YouTube is only like 15 seconds by the time you get on stage right. it'll be it'll be words and then work. Make, yeah, let's do that. I, I love that, BT. Yeah. Because so, the audience, they was running out of steam on the picks. They was like, uh. And you were yelling at us. You were like, man, that sucks. And we were like, we don't know, man. We just want you to win. Poetry. Lance, you still mute it. Lance, you got to unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. <laughs> uh, next up, everybody uh, that's on the show has uh, a promo code. For the show tomorrow, mine is Mobsters. You can use Mobsters to get $3 off. Tony is. Tony, what's your, your promo code? My promo code is Tony. Heidi, what's your promo code? Uh, Heidi. Heidi. Kamara, what's your promo code? Kamara. Uh, Lance, what's your promo Lance, code? I, I mean, come Make on. Sure Finger, literally, I mean, I feel like you context clues will tell you it's people's first names. Sometimes people got to hear it, Kev. My okay. promo code is sexual charcoal. Okay. <laughs> Actually, Kev, um, to be honest, Kev, to be honest, a lot of my friends said that they didn't want to use the promo code because they like what you're doing and they didn't want a discount. Oh, oh no, yeah, oh, like yeah, a lot of people, yeah, people like people that support you don't want a discount, but I was like, you you taking my dollar away though. That's what you don't know. <laughs> no, just play. <laughs> That's right Before I get out of here, last thing I want to give a shout out to LeBaron, J Mo, Josh English taking the stage, Tyron Carter, Adam at uh, Rated Intimate, Victoria Lewis. Thank you guys so much for the donations. Definitely appreciate it. For those that already RSVP for the, uh, the the comedy show tomorrow at 5 p.m., I'll see you there. Uh, Tony Baker, are we doing any any more um, best island listening parties? Are we done? No, with man, that? y'all just should stop that. I think Shut I think up, Kevin. chill for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that, yo, that's yo, just me. Y'all ain't diving to that Buster Rhymes? Tony want to quit, bro. So, you know nah, what I'm saying? I, I just want to lay low for a little bit. I ain't mad at you, Tony. I, Leave I Tony know what alone. He been telling y'all. Kevin, <laughs> shut up. One more body even talking to you. Oh, I finally got it. 
<laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Zoom with the Homies. We'll see you next week. I'm on my way to here. Hey, Tinder Lovings, what kind of wings you like? Lemon <laughs> pepper. And, and I like the honey barbecue. It looks like a guy. I like those and boneless. And then I like bone in for the lemon 